Angeles media station. We are the sports station that Tucson turns to for all the latest news when it comes to Arizona men's basketball, along with all the play-by-play action. We are Wildcats Radio 1290. This is the Meridian Wealth Management Post Game Show on the home of Arizona men's basketball. Wildcats Radio 1290. Here's Triore down to the baseline. Throw it in the lane. Ball knocked away. Loose and a steal. Here's Boswell. A three on nothing. And Kylan will up and dunk it. Is that his first dunk of his Wildcat career? It might be. Timeout Long Beach State. 18 points for Kylan Boswell today. Well, the guards were in fashion in Salt Lake City on this Thursday to open the NCAA tournament for the Arizona Wildcats. A resounding 85-65 to 65 win for Arizona over Long Beach State to advance to the second round. No 215 upset this year, although it looked a little... A little dicey at times yeah, in that first shake. half of the game, but uh, you know it was like a it's kind of like what Corey said the other day. You know, you did first ten minutes, teams are kind of feeling each other out, and that's exactly what it was. The Wildcats kind of found their groove. They went on a sixteen to nothing run from the end of the first half through the beginning of the second half. Uh, during that run, uh, Keyshot Johnson scored ten. Of those 16 points as he would finish with 13 on the game but the guards i mean the story was the guards in this contest how about 18 assists to two turnovers for caleb love pella larson and kylan boswell in this game 18 to 2 and they combine to make 10 three-point shots arizona with an all-time program ncaa tournament record 13 three-point makes they took a lot it took 35 to get to that 13 uh, but they win it going away 20 point victory a push a push but we'll get to that later on the betting board uh, a nice win i'm david kelly joined by my guys we've got kelvin Efon. We've got J.W. Madden, and uh, Kelvin, I'll start with you. Just your thoughts on on this win today. Yeah, like you said, man, when uh, the start of the game, man, they was out in that 3-2 zone, and and it was, you know, looking a little shaky from the start right there. I mean, they was missing shots. but <laughs> Missed one thing, layup after missed, yeah, layup, missed layup after layups, missed layup after missed layup, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. But one thing I was, uh, you, you know, one thing I was, uh, it was positive was that they were being aggressive, just yeah. like uh, Coach said. They was letting it rip. I was like, man, they really shooting these threes. I mean, they don't they don't care. And, and with that attitude, man, they just, uh, they just fall through it. I mean, Long Beach State, they had nothing to lose. They was playing like they had nothing to lose. And they was being being very aggressive, very physical. Arizona had to get through some of that physical play, some of that nervousness of, you know, playing together for the first time in an NCAA tournament. What, four new starters in the lineup. So, yeah, man, they got over it and, and that little rust and, and really stepped up and, uh, you know, went after those guys in the second half. How about two double-doubles? Not just one double-double, but two double-doubles. You had Umar Balo with his 18th of the season, 11 points and 13 rebounds. Caleb Love, 18 points and 11 rebounds for him. Man, there was one in the second half. I mean, he just went up and attacked the defensive board. I said, yep, I think uh, regardless of how many he finishes with, that's going to be a... Uh, that's going to be my uh, my my game uh, winner there on that one right there. The uh, uh, gosh, I can't even remember who the sponsor is right now. The uh, Window Depot, Window Depot glass cleaner of the game, uh, indeed, because uh, just a tremendous performance uh, for Caleb. Just uh, again uh, attacking in 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 different levels of the game. Didn't necessarily maybe again like, missed eleven of his seventeen shots, so not a a tremendously great shooting game, mm-hmm. but. Uh, you know, contributing in, in other areas. Uh, Tommy talked in the post game about another effort play where he had a block uh, to go along with two steals in this contest. So, again, Caleb Love affecting the game and, and however J-Dub that he could. Yeah, it's career high. 11 rebounds. Yeah, that's yeah. the most rebounds he's ever had in a game. I think uh, every single NCAA tournament game starts like that. Every single one. I mean, people are confused the first five, seven minutes of an NCAA tournament game are ugly. Don't realize that these teams never seen each other. The levels of stress, everything going into it. I mean, it's just a matter of feeling each other out. Each team is kind of trying to figure out if there's some kind of crazy scout, 
You know, is this the triangle two we're working against? Like, what is it that we're seeing here? And that takes some time to work through the jitters and all that stuff. But, you know, once they, I really like that spirited effort by the beach when they had that 9-0 run or whatever, because Arizona got a little bit of a, a cushion. Uh, the beach had that little run of their own. And obviously, the end of the first half into the second half, you could tell, uh, Kelvin, that those seniors, I mean, Keyshot scored, what, the first eight points there yeah, in the second man. half, forced two timeouts there by Coach Munson. I just think uh, the defense was my biggest takeaway. I think, as I said pregame, I think if the, if Arizona comes to play defense, team defense like they do, we know about the individual defenders on this team, they can really do so much to disrupt other teams, what they're trying to do and make it so difficult. Outside shooting, eh. What I will say is <laughs> I did look at the shot charts. We talked last post game. Kelvin, that they weren't getting any corner threes. And corner threes are always going to be open against those zones if you move the defense. Mm -hmm. They took four from each corner today. So they really were looking. Pella was, I saw Pella motioning to guys, you know, you clear out because this is going to be open when it gets swung back to me. Sure enough, exactly as he mimed it out, he got a wide open three there in the corner. Uh, 35, way too many threes. And a lot of those, I think, came when they had a pretty good lead, they just kind of got a little bit uh, laissez-faire on their running their offense or whatever. But, yeah, they got to get that number down. I Got to hit the bunnies. Got to make your layups. Mm -hmm. Other than that, just really impressed with the defense overall. One of my friends texted me and was like, why so many threes? I said, they trying to get their shot together. <laughs> I said, they trying to get it right for the next game. I said, that's the only thing I could come up with there. But, but yeah, you, you, you trying to get that touchdown. Yeah, 12 of 29 layups. In this game, not not and they not started like very good two yeah. for nine too. Yeah, that beginning was rough. Yeah, and yeah. they were open too. A couple of open. Pella had a nice move with the left, kind of just left a little bit short. Uh, uh, uh not Caleb. Uh, Kylan Bonzo, had a yes, had a up yes. and under there that he should have finished that one. But yeah. you but you know what happens in those times, guys? There's such an emphasis on getting to the basket. That you go so hard. Go back and look at those. They were going hard. Pella was cup, going hard. Yeah. Almost anticipating contact. Right, and that little it just throws your shot off just a little bit, it throws your touch off on the backboard just a little bit. But I noticed a few of the guys doing it, Caleb, uh, uh, Larson. It was a few of the guys doing it, and I said, "Oh, they got an emphasis on getting to the cup. They're putting their head down and getting out, getting in there." But with that being said, they still got up thirty-five threes. So, and, and it was <laughs> and it was both teams. I mean, early on, I mean, I think they both they combined to miss the first eight shots of the ball game between. Between both, both it squads. It was two minutes and 15 seconds until anybody scored. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Great percentage. All right, we want to hear from you today. 520-848-1290. 520-848-1290 is the number to get in on the program. You can call us at that number. You can text us at that number. We will have, uh, we will have uh, you until around 4 o'clock uh, today. Uh, don't forget Arizona women's basketball. It will be played that you will not hear that game on this channel. You'll hear it on Freedom 1400 coverage with Derek Palmer will begin at 345. We had a chance to chat with Derek this morning on the pregame show. We'll also let you hear some more from Adia Barnes as we get you set for that contest as well. The ladies are going to be taking on Auburn uh, and in the, the 11th seed first round or first four game uh, in stores, Connecticut. So it's a first four game two eleven seeds, the Auburn Tigers and the Arizona Wildcats for the right to advance and play number six seed Syracuse, and that game would also be on Saturday if the Arizona Wildcats on can advance. That note, listeners, uh, the NCAA has a bylaw where you cannot switch radio stations, right, right. DK? Yeah, yeah. So all the all the games in the postseason for the women. Exactly. I mean, we could have run today's game here, but uh, we did. We don't know the start times on uh, Saturday, so that was going to potentially put us in a situation where we would have to switch them back and forth, and that's not allowed by the NCAA in the postseason. You have to designate one station. And so all of those games will be on Freedom 1400 KTUC. All right, again, 520-848-1290 is the number to get in on the program. Things uh, that kind of stand out if you as you look <laughs> at, the, at the statistical rundown of this ball game, uh, you guys mentioned 35 threes. That, that's quite a lot uh, for one team to take. Uh, more than you would like to see. Uh, Long Beach State, more points in the paint, 38-32. Long Beach State, more second chance points, 15-8. Uh, to eight. They had 17 offensive rebounds in this game, did Long Beach State. That, that's probably a few too many. Uh, they won the bench battle, 27-8, to eight, only eight points off the bench.
They also uh, for missed Arizona. 46 shots. Yeah, they did. They did not shoot the ball well, and they certainly did not shoot the three. I just mean there's a correlation yeah. between a lot of offensive rebounds and 46 missed field goal attempts. Yeah, yeah. we missed 42. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not trying to give any Arizona any credit on that front. Ooh, that's no. a lot of rebounds, 50 to 47. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and they won the battle of the boards, 50 to 47. Uh, as well in this ball game, but Arizona just you know again 19 assists, just a little bit short, and the turnovers were back into the single digits, which is kind of what we wanted to see. Those had kind of jacked up a little bit into the 14, 15 range the last few games, but Arizona able to to take care of the basketball uh, at, at a much much better rate than what they had. All eight of those points off the bench coming from Jaden Bradley, who hit two of five, one three, and had uh, three for four. Uh, unfortunately, not a great shooting game for K.J. Lewis. He missed all four of his shots in the contest playing 12 minutes. And, and once again, uh, not much there for Mo Krivas in only eight minutes, uh, three rebounds, uh, and took just one shot. But, again, the postseason, I mean, look at the drastically reduced minutes except for everybody but Bradley was the only one that really got his average off You know what Kelvin likes today. to see, though? Three fouls. fouls. Three yeah. fouls in nine minutes By for Mo. Big Mo. <laughs> so he's out there working. Hey, he's he, 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 he uh, statted. Yeah, and impressed as well <laughs> because you mentioned the defense that Arizona played in this game. They played that with some early foul trouble too. Uh, so being able to overcome that early in the ball game, they, there were several players that had two fouls quickly uh, in this contest, but they were able to play through that. Uh, through the last, uh, I would imagine, uh, 60 minutes of this ball game today, uh, and nobody, uh, nobody fouled out. Pella was one of those who ended up with four yet too early, as did Keyshawn Johnson. Uh, but the Arizona Wildcats being able to to play through that to win the game by 20 points, and we'll await the opponent. And again, we don't know the time on Saturday's game as of yet, and uh, we'll let you know kind of here shortly. What's happening in that Nevada game that's just underway? They're about midway through the first half. Dayton with an early lead, 17 to 16, over uh, the Nevada Wolfpack. So it could be a could be somewhat of. I mean, there's not really a rivalry between Arizona and Nevada. They don't play that much. They've but never played a regional game, uh, to say the least. That's the what NCAA Brian said. Is they've never faced each other. Oh, so they've Ever. never played. Never once played I each we other. Played them once. Brian please. and Ryan said on the no. broadcast today that they have never faced the Wolfpack wow. ever. Which that's, is surprising yeah, because of the crazy. proximity. Right, absolutely. Absolutely. And especially as, as good as they've been. I mean, they've been a pretty solid program over the course of the last, you know, seven, eight years. Oh, I mean, sure. they've made a few NCAA tournaments and, and, and been one of the better teams in the, in the Mountain West Conference. I would think that we would have played them somewhere along the lines. But uh, that would be interesting. I don't know why maybe there just wasn't any relationships there uh, that that game could have ever uh, taken place. All right, 520-848-1290. We got a lot to get to on the post game show. Uh, we're gonna we'll we'll get you some of the interviews. You heard some of them in the post game show. Uh, we'll go back into the interview room and hear from Tommy Lloyd as well as uh, Ryan caught up with Caleb Love. We'll let you hear that interview a little bit later. We'll review our keys to the game, at our best bets. Uh, wait, if, since we why don't we go ahead and do our best bets now, uh, if we can, J Dub, just because. Uh, you know, this was a uh, something happened today that's only happened one other time this season. We had a push in this ball game today. Tucson, what happened with today's best bets? Did the Cats beat the spread? It's time to look at the best bets. Brought to you by Desert Diamond Sportsbook, Arizona's best bet. A push. The line was twenty. The game ends at twenty. That's only the second time we had an over-under push a few weeks ago, but we had never had a push on the line this season. Well, I know you were kind of scared of this game. You didn't give a number, but I assume you thought maybe Cats would win by single digits. I know Kelvin yeah. said 18 or 19 because he knew it would get out to big lead, but then they would put in the bench. I said 21 or 22, like right over the top of it. So then Kelvin said like 18, 19. I yeah. said 21, 22, right there in the middle. 20. Uh, I don't come away with any wins today because I took the over on this game, and it comes in at 150. The over-under was 164. So, again, over or under continues to be the play in the postseason. So, if the two teams make their layups, what's that number look like? <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. It's probably way over right? if they make their layups. 
Uh, they certainly so, got enough shots up between the two teams. So at least the, there is a win uh, for Kelvin and a win for J-Dub because they both took the under in this game. Uh, however, no wins for me because I took the over in this game. I think I'm still ahead, though. Those are today's best bets. They're brought to you by Desert Diamond Sportsbook, Arizona's best bet. I have to jive the numbers from my uh, computer from being on the road. I haven't j- jived them yet with the things here here at home, but I think I had a three-point three, uh, three point lead coming into today, so that would be down to two now uh, to J-Dub and uh, I believe uh, w- still maybe uh, two or three up on Kelvin. Get it together, Calvin. I think maybe two, but I will see. <laughs> All right, let's get our first break in here. We'll come back. We'll have much more for you. Again, we want to hear from you. 520-848-1290. What did you think of what you saw uh, from the Wildcats? The shot was back. That's good to see because you want to see this team operating uh, at a high level offensively, and they were able to do that today. 85-65, the final Number nine, Wildcats. Number two seed in the West, knock off Long Beach State. Ending Dan Monson's coaching career, at least with the beach, uh, wrapping up 17 seasons there as with him as the leader. With Kelvin Ifon and J.W. Madden, I'm David Kelly. You're listening to Wildcats Radio 1290. This hour of the Meridian Wealth Management Postgame Show is brought to you by Advanced Auto Care, Crest Insurance Group, Desert Diamond Casinos, First Chiropractic, Frog in Firkin, Kaiser Garage Doors and Gates, Picture Rocks Cooling, Heating, and Plumbing, The Polston Results Team with Keller Williams, Southern Arizona, Royal GMC, Buick and Cadillac, Royal Kia, Royal Jaguar Land Rover, The Window Depot, Blue Whale Car Wash, Caruso's Italian Restaurant, Cool Willie's Air and Plumbing, The Diamond Store, Goldberg and Osborne, Goodfellas AC. Sean Furrier for Jack Furrier Tire and Auto Care. Spring is on its way, and we all know that extreme heat comes next. Right now is the time to get your car or truck road trip ready. And with 14 convenient locations, six decades of service, and dozens of top shop awards, Jack Furrier Tire and Auto Care is the place. This month, get back big rebates on all your favorite major brand tires. Save more on the most affordable, long-lasting tires. Check out jackfurriers.com for details and money-saving coupons. Jack Furrier Tire and Auto Care, here to get you there. Tired of dry, itchy skin? Have mineral buildup at every faucet. Ram Plumbing's affordable, green, eco-friendly water softener and alkalized purification systems are built right here in our great state of Arizona and use a fraction of the wastewater as their competitors. Want soft water, non-chlorinated, or the best alkalized drinking water? You can trust Ram Plumbing to be your one-stop shop. Ask about their Water Taste Challenge. 40th year anniversary savings, up to $500 off water systems, and $40 off any service. If your plumbing's in trouble, call Ram on the Double. You want a protector, you'll give anything to make sure nothing, nothing harms her. Every minute together makes unforgettable memories. Except that time you parked her under that tree and... Oh, come on, man, really? Sorry, we'll never speak of it again. But remember who came to her rescue? Recon Auto Detailing, Arizona's premier auto detailing company, comes directly to you. We'll make your masterpiece shine like it should, and with a monthly maintenance package, we'll keep it that way. Recon Auto Detailing, online at recondetail.com. It's a party 100 years in the making, and all of Tucson is invited. Saturday, March 23rd, starting at 11 a.m., we'll kick off our 100-year anniversary party at O'Reilly Chevrolet, along with a Chevy Classic Car Show, there'll be food trucks, balloon twisters, a caricature artist, and much more. Our cake cutting ceremony will start at 5 p.m. And our price cutting, well, that's been going on for more than a century. So put it in your cell phone for the 23rd and see us on Broadway next to Park Place Mall. Or go to O'Reilly.com for more details. O'Reilly Chevrolet. Together, let's drive. Caruso's, a Tucson tradition since 1938, located on historic 4th Avenue. For four generations, Caruso's handmade sauce has been prepared with love by a family member, using only the best ingredients. Enjoy specialty Italian dishes like lasagna al forno, chicken tetrazzini, real Italian sausages, spectacular pizza, as well as many vegetarian options. Caruso's offers outdoor dining on their garden patio with indoor dining also available. Open Tuesday through Sunday with all your favorites available for takeout. For more information, call 520-624-5765 or visit their website at carusositalian.com. The Window Depot has everything you need to create the kitchen or bathroom of your dreams. 
Browse the aisles of in-stock cabinets available in a variety of sizes and configurations and instantly elevate your space today. Visit a showroom and let our experts guide you. Whether you're choosing from ready-to-go designs or creating a custom masterpiece, we can help you select the perfect wood type, color, and style. And top it off with unique hardware to complete your look. Find a location near you at thewindowdepot.com. The Window Depot. More than a window store. Desperate buyers have created tremendous opportunity for sellers. If you've had the slightest thought of selling your home, it's time to call Sean Poston with the Poston Results Team at Keller Williams, Southern Arizona. Why choose the Poston Results Team? Past performance, more money in your pocket, over a 65% referral rate, an incredible Poston Results Team staff, and most important, communication, because you and your home matter. The Poston Results Team. When buying and selling really matter, go to TucsonHomeValues.com. That's Tucson Home Values with an S.com. What up, Tucson? This is Joseph Blair, former Wildcat and assistant coach of the Washington Wizards. When I came to play basketball at the U of A in the 90s, the Tucson community became and has always remained a special part of my life. And this is why I proudly joined the Meridian Wealth Management Tucson Advisory Business Council. If you have financial questions or concerns, please be sure and call my friends Natalie or Ruben Fernandez at 719-1433 or visit online at Meridian Wealth LLC. And as always, Bear down, Tucson. Advisory services provided by Meridian Wealth Management, a registered investment advisor. My heat and air work in a state of disrepair. If there's a hot spot in your house, you may have leaky ductwork. The Department of Energy says 95% of homes do. Those leaks can pull in dirt and humidity. I'm Ron Arenas, the owner of Picture Rocks Cooling. Ask how we can tackle those leaky ducts and keep cool air in and dirt and humidity out with AeroSeal. Call Picture Rocks at 520-440-4069. Does it feel like the price of everything is going up, up, up? We can't control the price of gas or groceries, but at Royal Buick GMC, we never add market adjustments, even while other dealers add fees because inventory is limited. At Royal Buick GMC, you can rest assured you won't pay market adjustments, and we stand by our transparent online pricing. Royal Buick GMC, the dealership that's different. OAC plus tax, title, license, dealer installed options, and 529 dock fee. Royal Buick GMC, in the Auto Mall and at RoyalTucson.com. Experiencing the Sonoran Desert's natural wonders comes easy at Rock and K. Nestled at the base of the Rincon Mountain foothills, enjoy stunning mountain views up close every day. Six model homes are now open to tour at Del Webb at Rock and K. Here, life is about more than just beautiful homes. It's about the experiences waiting outside your front door at this new 55 plus active adult neighborhood. LiveRockandK.com. Designed by nature, built for you. Proud U of A radio broadcast sponsor. Here's an important message from University Termite and Pest Control. The weather is cooler here, and so pests are seeking alternative housing. Do you need a professional? University Termite and Pest Control has been serving Tucson since 1974. You can be assured University Termite and Pest Control will keep you pest-free using the most responsible products and application methods. 28 school districts, 3 hospitals, 2 colleges, 1 university, and thousands of homeowners trust University Termite and Pest Control for the past 50 years. You can too. University Termite and Pest Control. Find us online at BePestFree.com. The Meridian Wealth Management Postgame Show continues on the home of Arizona men's basketball. Wildcats Radio 1290. Jones fires a three. No good. Rebound. Tip. Grabbed by Love. Wildcats with a three on one now. Love will love it for Johnson. And Keyshawn will throw it down for two. Timeout Long Beach State. Keyshawn Johnson finished five of nine from the floor. Two of three from three. 13 points in 29 minutes for Keyshawn Johnson. He had five rebounds. He had a couple of turnovers and a plus 13. Your top plus minus today was Umar Bala, who had 31, plus 31 in this game. 11 points, 13 rebounds, four block shots. Remember when early in the season when I said I'd like to see Umar block more shots? That I thought at times he was a little bit too conservative in defending guys driving to the basket. That has not seemed to be an issue um, the last few ball games. What, he had five, I believe, in the loss to Oregon. So he has at least nine blocks in the last two games. Kevin, why do you think we're maybe seeing him be a little bit more aggressive on that defensive end? Well, I think I think because he he saw the need that the team needed. He need the team needed more rim protection. Uh, he was walling up a lot, and I think he got more healthy. It looks like he's more strong as the season uh, has progressed. So 
uh, with those two combined, it seems like he's been going after uh, shots and really uh, getting them at the top. There was a shift like maybe three, four weeks ago. We talked about it extensively, how his the way he powered at the rim, Kelvin, both offensively and defensively, looked a bit different the last three weeks than it did previous to that. Now, there wasn't any kind of disclosed lower extremity issues, but you could just tell. I mean, Kelvin, we talked maybe about finishing issues that might have had like two, three months ago. That was a big part of it. But, yeah, these last three weeks, Balo, I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen him go after shots like he has these last few weeks. I mean, he's really, really challenging guys at the rim. I mean, it has been aggressive for sure. Just uh, we'll get, get you the exact numbers on it. So he has 12 blocks in the last three games. Uh, he had three at USC. He had, I'm sorry, he had three in, in the Pac-12 tournament against USC. He had five against Oregon and four today. And so 14 going back, four games, because he had two in the win or the loss at USC as well. So 14 blocks in the last four games uh, for Umar Balo really doing a great job defensively there for the University of Arizona. All right, 520-848-1290. Let's start to hear from you on this one. First up is Anthony. Anthony, you're on the Meridian Wealth Management Post Game Show, Wildcats Radio 1290. Hey, how are you guys doing today? Good, Anthony. What would you think of that? Uh, what a difference a year makes, man. I remember <laughs> last year at this time walking down University Boulevard just trying to figure out what happened, calling you guys, thinking the world is ending. Just it was a um, big difference. March is such a beautiful time, especially once you could get that first game out of the way. They came out they came out kind of ugly, but um, I think Kelvin said it earlier, and you guys hit it perfectly on the head. Uh, just going hard to the basket, but maybe their heart rate a little high, just you know, a little too excited. And the good thing I liked about that, though, we were getting to the basket. I mean, the results weren't great, but we were getting to the basket. Um, good thing about this team for this game, I mean, got our. We, it wasn't a clean game by any means, but I mean, we got it out of the way. Hopefully, and at any game, we couldn't afford to have a clean game with probably this one. So, good thing we got that a little bit out of the way. Um, different players took over at different times. It seemed like. A key shot and um, Boswell kind of carried us a little bit the first few minutes of the game. First 10 minutes, Boswell started off nice. And then you got, then everybody started coming into, um, you know, doing their own. I think, I think Balo had almost 10 rebounds, a half almost. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember what it was, but he had a nice game and he didn't get many touches. 11 points for four shots, really nice. Um, Love, Love had a struggle most of the game, but I, what I love about Love is that he's a fighter. He's a dog. You take a look at it, he not one of his best shooting performances, but um, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, and still got his 18. Uh, one thing, like a lot of times when players are having bad games and they get to the free throw line, he missed his first two free throws. Sometimes that could be deflating, but with him, he just kept playing hard. Played well defensively. So, I mean, each player put in their own. We didn't have great output from the bench, but you got eight from, I, I believe we got eight from um, Bradley. Jaden Bradley, yeah. So, yep. And then one thing, is the thing I love most about this game right here is take a look at the stats. Out of our 30 baskets, 19 came off the assist. So, basically, almost almost uh, two out of every three uh, baskets we scored uh, was involved in assists, the team getting everybody together. So I really like that, man. I don't really have much more. I mean, I'm just happy to enjoy basketball tomorrow and Saturday until we play again. And, I mean, like I said, this is the Boswell we need. So I hope Tommy just locks him in the room tonight. <laughs> and <let's... laughs> I mean, but, but, but it's, it's, hard, it's hard to get in trouble in Salt Lake City. This, but let me say this, though, when you say that, though. You, you said this is the Boswell we need. That's it. I, I want to make sure I got that right, Anthony. Is that right? Well, not not necessarily the boss when we need, but okay, we just need okay. effort. So yeah, yeah. Well, so, I mean, and what yeah, I'm saying I with that effort. is, and, and all I was saying with that is, he took 19 shots, so he was super yeah. aggressive, super aggressive. And I always say this, and if you listen to this, I say I rather have to calm you down and say, hey, let me turn you down a notch, than to have to press and beg you to take shots and a lot of time with boz it was only you know, seven eight shots mm -hmm. so i so he was kind of holding himself down sometime remember some of them games jd was it four shots or something like that so i'd rather you be aggressive and i have to dial you down and i think coach uh said that in the in in, in, in uh when we was listening to pregame he was saying hey they gotta let it rip 
<laughs> right? And the guys uh, took that, took heed to that, and they came out and let it rip. And it's not always going to be pretty. It's not always going to be pretty. Yeah. But when you aggressive, seems like good things happen. Your play, you play harder when you get your shots. So um, the, the most shots Boz took this whole year was 16, and that was in a double overtime loss to FAU. He had one game where he took 15 shots versus Michigan State. Beyond that, 12. So 19 is quite a bit more than he's letting it rip. There you go. I mean, he got pulled from a game last year because it didn't take a shot at Stanford. We all know that story. And if you're open within the offense, I think, uh, you know, some of those finishes at the rim is the thing that that is puzzling, right? Because, Kelvin, I mean, the guy is getting where he needs to go. And and I think it's it's a, it might be a situ- simple situation where he doesn't find himself there regularly enough within the course of a regular game you know what i'm saying right. and finishing those layups you know with your boys or in a pickup game it's whatever i mean i'm sure he's got the full lay layup package but yeah 19 shots as as k-rock said i don't know that you want kylan boswell leading the team in shot attempts on a regular basis but you take what the defense gives you and that's what we saw today yeah definitely and that, that's what like you, you guys hit it right on the head man there was that i remember he had that zero for zero for zero game yeah, I think he only took four or five shots in that game, and yeah, that's we need him to be a threat. Even if even if he's not scoring, we need him to be. Because too many times in the, that little de- ugly December he had, too many times. I mean, teams didn't even have to worry. Like they didn't even. Have, he took himself out of the game, and yeah, that, that that's a great point, Kelvin. Like yeah, just uh, just this guy. Yeah, just we need him to be aggressive, and it was like I mean. It was a good game, a good gentleman's, uh, a gentleman-like performance. You know, get the win, uh, get you know, get the butterflies out, mm-hmm. get used to the uh, the arena. And man, those nets were killing me, man. Somebody needed to put a little weight right? in the nets every time the ball, <laughs> Bro, every like, time the ball got. I want to, <laughs> I want to do a whole segment on that because whoever decided to put brand new nets, Kelvin, with two teams that get up and down. I mean, I saw that ball get stuck in that net on more than one occasion, and you just can't have that happen. By the way, uh, Anthony, it was at Washington State. He had the 0 for with two fouls in 25 minutes, 0 for 5 from the field. Yeah, yeah, that was just that was just gross. Five shots, man. I wouldn't. I mean, yeah, the aggressiveness and that game. He just, you know, had his head down. Neither didn't look like he wanted to be there. But I mean, I don't mind the aggressiveness, even if he's missing shots, just to be a threat out there. Just so you know, so it's not four on five on one side of the court. But I mean, like you said, he's 18. We'll we'll live with it. We'll get through it. And you know. Looking forward to next game right here. So, my uh, oh, one thing you guys did say, I do apologize. Uh, one thing you did say, and I think it was Kelvin again, is that, yeah, the one of my buddies told me this. We're at the Pac-12 tournament. He says the thing I look forward to with the NCAA tournament is this year ball was healthy. Last year after that ASU game, he just he just didn't look right the rest of the way. Yeah, yeah. broke his hand, right? Exactly. Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, the best Boswell moment today was when he got the three on nothing. And clearly, Caleb was behind, right? Yeah. And and Caleb said, kind of "Don't take it." it. Yep. Caleb told him to dunk that. Boswell was about to throw that off the backboard for something crazy because I think it was Keyshawn <laughs> and Caleb who were behind right, him. Right. And Caleb's like, "Nah, nah, dog, you take it." And then after he dunked it, Boswell was running back up at the court. You could see him talking to each other and he being like, "I was about to throw this off the backboard and do something crazy." And <laughs> and, and, and Caleb's like, "Nah, Boz, you got to take that." And what I love about that is. Those guys know how important he is to the team and yep. how important it is that he feel good about himself and play well. Because when he feels any, when anybody feel good about themselves, they play better. And 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 for for love to do that uh, to me, man, that just shows he understands how important that is for for him to be in a good space. Uh, uh, and and I would say this one other thing about love, man. Twelve three. That means he only took five shot attempts in the mid range of layups and I just think he's a better player than that. Where 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 I, I just would take off at least four of those threes right there, you know, in that game. I thought he could have got to the basket even a little bit more there. But I know what he's doing is exactly what I told my buddy. I say he's trying to show everybody, oh, I'm a problem. Because one thing I can tell you about people who shoot the ball, DK mm. in 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 uh J Dub, you have to guard them. <laughs> you have to guard them because at any time they can go off on you and kill you. So you have to go. A lot of guys self-check they sub DK because they won't take that shot. But when you're playing dudes like that, now you can't uh, sag off Boswell and help on Caleb because that's why Caleb had such a tough game mm. before because you could help off Boswell. That's the guy they was helping off of and Keyshot. 
But when they're being aggressive like that, now the coach is going to have to look at their, you know, like, man, who, who, who could we uh, double off of? Who could we help off of? And it's going to be tough if you look at this box score. Hey, guys, can I say one thing? I've been missing for, like, the last month. I usually call in a lot, but been missing the last month. So, um, great to hear you guys again. Let's plan on doing this five more times, okay? Yes, five more times. One down, five to go. Thanks, Anthony. Appreciate you yeah, checking in. Bear down. 520 1290 520-848-1290. Another perfect game. For Umar Balo, that's two in a row now. He has made his last nine shots in a row, maybe even more than that if you go back. To, uh, I'd have to look at the the complete shot chart from, from the uh, USC win in Las Vegas. He is 31 from his last 37 mm-hmm. from the field, and that goes back to uh, the, the Arizona State game in Tempe where he was six for six. He's had three perfect games uh, in that stretch, six for six at Arizona State, Five for five against Oregon, four for four tonight. 31 of 37. What's the math on that? Oh, good. <laughs> right. yeah, I don't I have mean, my calculator with And that's right what here. he's always done. I mean, we all yeah. know he's led, he leads Arizona Wildcat history for field goals shooting. I think a lot of that, Kelvin, has to do with his shot selection. That push oh, shot, yeah. we saw a little bit of that, what, 10 foot, 12 foot push shot. We haven't seen, seen much of that. It's all dunks, time, it's all at yeah. the rim. He's either getting fouled or he's laying the ball in the hoop. 84%. Oh, I was, ooh, I was right. Yeah, 84%. so so so, and what I was gonna say, I said eighty five. But what I was gonna say was that, you know, I don't know what his opportunities will be in the NBA, but one thing I will tell you, he's gonna be a rich man in Europe. <laughs> yeah. He's you know, gonna be. He's one of a million dollars. You know, Joseph Blair. Yeah, Joseph Blair was one of the one of the first guys who really made a great living off of playing. You know, over in Europe uh, uh, and. Um, I guarantee you, Balo is going to be fetching up to the six figures, high, mid six figures right out the door. You know, I would have said six, seven years ago, not much. But if you look at the last four MVPs, that's uh, Joker and Embiid. So there's Ooh, now yeah. like a need a for easy. guys to be able to push on dudes, right? I mean, the, the last four MVPs are two big fellas that like to do their damage down there on the yeah, block, Kelvin. Yeah, so yeah. remember Shaq, Shaq's era, everybody had a 310-pound oh, yeah, dude who couldn't play basketball. He was just out there to deal with Shaq physicality. Uh, that went away during the Steph Curry era, but they're coming back to it a little bit with Embiid and Joker. So who knows? That's, that's true. 520-848-1290 is the number to get in on the program. You can call us at that number. You can text us at that number. Time now for our Window Depot glass cleaner of the game. And that's going to be Caleb Love tonight. 11 rebounds for Caleb Love. A double-double to go along with 18 points. Caleb Love is your Window Depot glass cleaner of the game. Window Depot, lowest prices, biggest inventory. Shop uh, thewindowdepot.com. Let's hear from Caleb Love after the ball game. Oh, okay. Let's hear a highlight. Rebound. Arizona, Caleb Love will take it the other way. His 11th rebound. That's a new career high now for Love with 11 boards. And Love top of the key. Throw it up for a key shot. There you go. 11, 11 rebounds for Caleb Love. We'll hear uh, from him coming up a little bit later as Ryan Hansen caught up with him in the locker room. It is the Meridian Wealth Management postgame show. Arizona advances in the NCAA tournament with an 85-65 victory over Long Beach State along with Kelvin Ifon and J.W. Madden. I'm David Kelly. You're listening to Wildcats Radio 1290. This is the Meridian Wealth Management postgame show on the home of Arizona men's basketball. Wildcats Radio 1290. Desperate buyers have created tremendous opportunity for sellers. If you've had the slightest thought of selling your home, it's time to call Sean Poston with the Poston Results Team at Keller Williams, Southern Arizona. Why choose the Poston Results Team? Past performance, more money in your pocket, over a 65% referral rate, an incredible Poston Results Team staff, and most important, communication, because you and your home matter. The Poston Results Team. When buying and selling really mattered, go to TucsonHomeValues.com. That's TucsonHomeValues with an S, dot com. At Nova Home Loans, we believe everyone deserves the opportunity to enjoy the independence that comes with home ownership. Whether you're a first-time home buyer who needs down payment assistance, have less than perfect credit, or looking to refinance, Nova has a variety of home loan programs for your unique situation. Visit NovaHomeLoans.com or call 800-955-9125 to learn more. Not a commitment to lend or extend credit. Rates and available loan programs are subject to change without notice. NMLS 3087, BK 0902429, Equal Housing Opportunity. 
experiencing the natural wonders comes easy at Rock and K. Nestled at the base of the Rincon Mountain Foothills. Enjoy stunning mountain views up close every day. Hit the community trails, explore local parks like Saguaro National and Colossal Cave, and mingle at private Diamond Community Park events. In the top-rated Vail School District, Rock and K is close to work, shopping, and services. Tour 11 different model homes by top-tier builders, offering move-in ready homes and special incentives. Live Rock and K com designed by nature proud u of a radio broadcast sponsor don't hold back just dive right in this is desert diamond the round the clock off the charts over the top spectacle that puts a shine on any day anytime the tables are hot to the touch the slots are spinning winners every day and the point spreads are yours for the taking so go ahead live the diamond life Desert Diamond Casino. Visit ddcaz.com. An enterprise of the Thana Autumn Nation. Fun for the crew, fun for the family, fun for everyone. Dave & Buster's is the place to be for all things fun. With hundreds of awesome games, massive screens showing every single game, and their incredible menu of top-notch food and drinks. There's no better place to eat, drink, play, and watch than Dave & Buster's. Make Wednesday the highlight of your week at Dave & Buster's by experiencing half-price games on Wednesdays. That's right, every arcade game, half-price. Dave and Buster, the Tucson Marketplace, your Wednesday game day viewing spot. Broadway in Tucson presents The Rockin' 2023-2024 season featuring eight blockbuster productions including Disney's Aladdin, The Book of Mormon, Hairspray, and Chicago. Enjoy the Southern Arizona musical premieres of Tina, the Tina Turner musical, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Time of the Temptations, MJ the Musical, and Mrs. Doubtfire. Secure your choice season tickets today and get the ultimate in flexibility and the lowest prices all season. Visit Broadway BroadwayInTucson.com and secure your season tickets today. The Window Depot is more than a window store. The Window Depot is a one-stop warehouse with everything you need for your complete home remodel. Shop the aisles of pre-built cabinets in a variety of colors, granite and quartz countertops, sinks, skylights, and hardware to complete your project. Need a custom order? We can help. Our designers offer free design services and can special order everything you need for your kitchen or bathroom remodel today. Shop thewindowdepot.com or find a location near you. The Window Depot, more than a window store. Striving to be the best never grows old. And that's especially true right now during O'Reilly Chevrolet's 100th anniversary celebration. Great customer service is what we've hung our cowboy hat on for more than a century. Even today, we have a new inventory arriving with factory incentives available, and there are great deals to be had. Check them out at O'Reilly.com, call 747-8000, or come to our party on the 23rd to Broadway next to Park Place Mall. Southern Arizona and O'Reilly Chevrolet. Together, let's drive. O'Reilly Chevrolet. Are you ready to adopt? Come to the Humane Society of Southern Arizona. When you adopt from us, you will save more than one life. You'll also make room for the next pet in need. The Humane Society of Southern Arizona has been compassionately serving pets and the people who love them since 1944. Our knowledgeable adoption matchmakers will help you find the right pet for your home and support you after you adopt. We are open seven days a week at our main campus at 635 West Roger Road. Learn more and see adoptable pets at hssaz.org. Here's an important message from University Termite and Pest Control. The weather is cooler here, and so pests are seeking alternative housing. Do you need a professional? University Termite and Pest Control has been serving Tucson since 1974. You can be assured University Termite and Pest Control will keep you pest-free using the most responsible products and application methods. 28 school districts, 3 hospitals, 2 colleges, 1 university, and thousands of homeowners trust University Termite and Pest Control for the past 50 years. You can too. University Termite and Pest Control. Find us online at BePestFree.com. Tired of dry, itchy skin? Have mineral buildup at every faucet. Ram Plumbing's affordable, green, eco-friendly water softener and alkalized purification systems are built right here in our great state of Arizona and use a fraction of the wastewater as their competitors. Want soft water, non-chlorinated, or the best alkalized drinking water? You can trust Ram Plumbing to be your one-stop shop. Ask about their Water Taste Challenge. 40th year anniversary savings, up to $500 off water systems and $40 off any service. If your plumbing's in trouble, call Ram on the Double. At Standard Restaurant Supply, their vision and number one goal is to improve the lives of their customers and clients by providing a better culinary experience. Standard Restaurant Supply, if it's in a restaurant and not food, they have it. Open to the public, no membership fees, and they offer bulk store pricing without the bulk store purchase. Open Monday through Saturday at 601 South Cherry Avenue or call 885-2345. Standard Restaurant Supply is a proud sponsor of the U of A Radio Sports Broadcast. 
Southern Arizona Radiology Associates have been dedicated to providing superior images and quality care for the last 35 years. They're the one you trust when you need an x-ray, CT scan, ultrasound, mammogram, or MRI. They have locations in Tucson, Green Valley, and Sierra Vista. Ask your doctor to refer you to Southern Arizona Radiology Associates today. That's Southern Arizona Radiology Associates. Visit their website at sararadiology.com or call 520-335-6849 for more information. The Meridian Wealth Management Post Game Show continues on the home of Arizona men's basketball. Wildcats Radio 1290. There's Triore down the lane, blocked off the glass by Ball. Will ball loose, grabbed by Keyshot. Cats will run it the other way. Johnson will take it himself. Coast to coast, drives right of the lane, stops there. Out to Boswell. Boswell down left of the lane. Scoop it off the glass, miss, no good. Ball rips away the rebound out to Love. Caleb for three. Back of the rim, no good. Keyshot, an offensive rebound. Laid up, missed. Tapped in by Ball for two more. More activity for Arizona. They are jumping offensive rebounds. What was that? Four attempts at the rim. Finally get the last one to drop. 50 to 35, Arizona. Well, for the 19th time, the Arizona Wildcats won a game after a loss in the Tommy Lloyd era. So still no back-to-back losses, thank goodness, because this one would have exited you from the postseason. 85-65, to 65, what a offensive possession that was right there, J-Dub. Yeah, I mean, like I was just saying off air, they were up 13, Kelvin. So that was not a situation where they were down three and extra effort because your shot's not falling, you got to get on the offensive glass. That was a block followed by four offensive rebounds by four diff- three different guys uh, leading to that tip in by, by Umar. So the effort and energy, you're going to have days where you shoot 42%. It's going to happen. It's basketball. Uh, there's so many other little things you can do. Like Kelvin Efon's always saying, Boswell's shot's not falling. Get down on deep, you know. <laughs> get, get down in your defensive stance and, and make it tough for those guys to score. And that possession there was just all effort. 11 offensive rebounds for Arizona in this ballgame. Four of those 11 by Umar Balo. Four of his 13. Another double-double for Umar. 13 rebounds to go along with 11 points. 520-848-1290 is the number to get in on the program. Arizona wins 85-65 to over the Long Beach State, the beach, ending Dan Monson's career as the head coach there. Let's head back out to Salt Lake City and hear from Keyshot Johnson after the game. Keyshot finishing with 13 points. Good job, Dan. You know, uh, kudos to uh, Long Beach. They got very talented players. You know, um, like each one of their players individually is talented. But our game plan worked, and we stuck to our game plan playing Arizona basketball. We wasn't worried about the next game. We were just worried about that game and what we could do to win that game. Was it, what, what it was it like early? It seemed like you weren't able to get a lot going to the rim. Shots, layups weren't going in. You weren't getting fouled, et cetera. I mean, it, it's, basket, it's basketball. Everything, basketball is never scripted. Like, everything don't always go your way. But we stuck, stuck to the game plan, kept feeding Big Omar. Um, and kept getting uh, in between the zone, and everything was paying off. Uh, we knew we knew Oregon came back from us being up in the first half, so we just had to change the narrative of, of how we come out. And um, our first four minutes, you know, our first four minutes was able to score, I think, probably went on a 6 or run or something like that. You know, um, and then that just changed the rest of the narrative of the game, so you just had to keep it up. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's it. I think that's his first one uh, in his college career. Um, so. You know, so he was able to show us he had a little sum. It was, it was still iffy, but uh, kudos to him. You know, he got, he got a little ups on him, hopefully, because he bobbled the ball. So next time if he don't bobble the ball, it might look a little better, you know. Do you feel like you kind of got some monkeys off your back, so to speak, with everyone talking, oh, we don't, you know, they don't want to see another first round upset? Do you feel mm-hmm. like you kind of got that pressure taken off a little bit? Um, I wouldn't say there's no monkey on our back. Well, was in, in our program is in our program. We don't worry about what happened at the uh, last year or the years before. We just worry about what we got now, the brothership that we got now, and try to get get win. We got to uh, advance one game at a time. Um, we don't really know the preparation between uh, Dayton and Nevada because we were just focused on one game at a time. But, you know, I'm sure the coach is going to get us ready. You know, me being a Mountain West, I played uh, Nevada a lot of times, you know, had a lot of battles with them. So I'm kind of familiar with their program and everything. So we just got to get some rest first. And then once the uh, coaches give us our game plan, stick to it and trust it. All right. That is Keisha Johnson after the ball game today. Tommy Lloyd now uh, just two wins shy of the NCAA record for wins by a first-time head coach in his first three seasons. Today was win number 
87. He's now 87 and 19 at the helm here at the University of Arizona, three and two now in the postseason in five games over those three seasons. Five two zero eight four eight twelve ninety uh, is the number to get on the program. So we've now in the last two games had uh, Jaden Bradley. I don't know if it was his first dunk, but uh, we found out he doesn't really dunk the ball a lot, so he got a dunk in that. Uh, actually, I think it might have been the game against USC. Uh, the one they won in Las Vegas. And now we've got Colin Boswell actually getting his first dunk in this ball game. So you can't, you know, these guys are, they, you know, they, they, they like to grade themselves. You can't just go out there and, and have a, a dunk that's not, well, not looking good. That's right? Keyshot talking. So, like, <laughs> right. if that's anybody else, like, Keyshot's clowning on his boy because that, you know, that was a dunk by a, how, how was he, 6'2", Kelvin? Yeah, yeah. yeah, about 6'2", stocky, you know, not known for his ups. You know, Boswell more or less went up, laid it in, and touched, you know, touched the rim a little bit. And Keyshot, who's known for, you know, destroying that thing every once in a while, of course he's going to have some jokes. <laughs> oh, you got to love that uh, when, when, the, when the bigs, I should say, when the bigs get on the littles, uh, as, uh, as, as former volleyball coach Dave Rubio might say, that when he would classify his, his, big, folk, his big ladies with his littles. Uh, but uh, same thing kind of translates for basketball. Uh, as well well guys when you look obviously uh, at this game transitioning in now to to what's going to be uh, happening on Saturday uh, the Wildcats uh, still have some things that you want to see them uh, do better Balo again we talked in that last segment perfect uh, but only four shots once again Balo not getting a lot of shots. Uh, is that? Do you think we can even that out? We may, we mentioned that the majority of the shots were taken by three guys in this ball game. Uh, that's kind of what was dictated. Uh, we saw them come out in the zone. They got he shot an early look. Uh, he turned around a, a nice turnaround jumper there, and I think in like the first couple of minutes, that, but he didn't make it. But still, they were able to get him nine shots in this ball game. Uh, I'd like to see more Balo uh, as we move forward in this postseason. More than four shots, anyway. Well, as long as they sell out and put three guys on them, I mean, it was time they had three guys, uh, triple team of them. They for sure doubled them every time. They were doubling off the ball, uh, which was showing disrespect. Because remember, I told you that we talked about it before, and I said, man, I don't like we were doubling off the ball, and team was knocking down threes. Mm, Haven't seen that much lately, right? The guys, have y'all seen that double no, off the no. ball? Not since UCLA. <laughs> Turn the back away. When they got yeah. up by 19 or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I haven't seen that in a while. But, yeah, I, I, just, I just feel like that um, – uh, just the the it's just tough on them down there because they're just having all the guys double them. They have the the one three one, the two three zone. Yeah. I mean, whenever he got one on one, he they, they they got him the ball. But it was just a lot of times they just was forcing the ball out of his hands. They were like we can't let Balo get going. They started figuring out the two three. Pella had that really nice play where they cleared it out and he got some space in there for the little floater right in the heart of that two three. Then they switched it up to the one three one. Got a couple of steals right out of that. I remember that one play where they got the bucket and the steal right after another bucket. But yeah, I think the, you know, when you look at 35 three point attempts, DK, mm. I mean, those 35, every one of those could be a pass into the post. It doesn't matter if it's Balo or Keisha, it's going to be Balo 99.9% of the time or somebody on the high post. I know that they're trying to make a concerted effort. There were some times where they settled for those deep shots and you know, you, I, I personally would like to see Balo take 10 or more field goal attempts in every single game. Not times where he touches the ball in the post, but actual field goal attempts in the books because, mm. of course, he's going to get fouled a ton. Yeah. But, you know, Kelvin but, said it all. I mean, they were – they sold out their defense. They left a lot of open shooters just to make sure Balo didn't dunk on them all night because they really didn't have an answer for that. Uh, three for four from the line was Balo in this game. The Wildcats were 12 of 17. Uh, we mentioned at the top there, or the, uh, Anthony mentioned at the top that Caleb Love missed his first two, uh, but then came back to make three in a row. Balo had the one miss. Jaden Bradley had the one miss. 12 of 17. You still like that to maybe be a better number, but uh, you'll take 70%, well, 71% and, in a game like this. And no assists for Balo, but yeah. he had to have at least five assists, hockey assists. Because he got that ball out of there. How many turnovers he ended up having? Two. Two. He got that ball out of there with all that traffic and arms and everything. He got the ball out of there quick, and he trusted his teammates to make a play. So 
you got to give him some credit for that as well. And he doesn't, it doesn't look like he's complaining and I'm not getting the ball. Every time you hear him speak, he's talking about the team and what's best for the team. Yeah. All right, 520 We'll get another break in here. We'll come back. We'll review our keys to the game and give you some more post game from Salt Lake City. Uh, we'll hear from Caleb Love. Uh, Tommy Lloyd was in the interview room, I believe, with uh, Umar Balo and uh, Kyle Boswell. Yep. Uh, we will hear from them as well after today's 85 to 65 win over Long Beach State. 520-848-1290. You can call us. You can text us. Don't forget to download our app. In fact, text app to 520-848-1290. I'll send you a link. You can download our app. We've got a game story up. We'll have a more definitive, uh, expansive game story for you a little bit later. And also, we're going to hear from Adia Barnes uh, coming up in the next hour as we get you set for Arizona women's basketball. Their game tips off in about an hour in Connecticut as they'll take on the Auburn Tigers. Uh, Adia uh, always has great things to say, and I want you to hear what she had to say about uh, the strength of schedule and, and how she saw that playing into the seeding that they got versus the seeding that teams that maybe didn't have a, as hard a strength of schedule uh, got for this particular NCAA tournament. Happy to get in, but not necessarily happy with the seeding uh, that the Wildcats got. We'll have more. It's the Meridian Wealth Management Post Game Show along with Kelvin Efon and J.W. Madden. I'm David Kelly. You're listening to Wildcats Radio 1290. This hour of the Meridian Wealth Management Post Game Show is brought to you by Advanced Auto Care, Crest Insurance Group, Desert Diamond Casinos, First Chiropractic, Frog in Firkin, Kaiser Garage Doors and Gates, Picture Rocks Cooling, Heating and Plumbing, The Polston Results Team with Keller Williams, Southern Arizona, Royal GMC Buick and Cadillac, Royal Kia, Royal Jaguar Land Rover, The Window Depot, Blue Whale Car Wash, Caruso's Italian Restaurant, Cool Willie's Air and Plumbing, The Diamond Store, Goldberg and Osborne, Goodfellas AC. Cool Willie's Air and Plumbing. Always trust the big guy. Mention your Wildcats and receive $50 off any repair at CoolWillies.com. Cool Willie's is proud to be a partner of the University of Arizona Wildcats basketball radio broadcast. Two powerful teams working hard for you to get the job done right every day. Cool Willie's Air and Plumbing, big enough to help, small enough to care. Remember to mention your Wildcats and receive $50 off any repair. CoolWillies.com. It's a party 100 years in the making, and all of Tucson is invited. Saturday, March 23rd, starting at 11 a.m., we'll kick off our 100-year anniversary party at O'Reilly Chevrolet. Along with a Chevy Classic Car Show, there'll be food trucks, balloon twisters, a caricature artist, and much more. Our cake-cutting ceremony will start at 5 p.m., and our price-cutting, well, that's been going on for more than a century. So put it in your cell phone for the 23rd and see us on Broadway next to Park Place Mall. Or go to O'Reilly.com for more details. O'Reilly Chevrolet. Together, let's drive. You know it. Your neighbors know it. And let's face it, the mailman knows it too. Your yard just isn't what it used to be. But thankfully, Dorado Rock Materials can get you, well, your yard anyway, back to what it once was. And even better, Dorado Rock Materials has just what your yard needs, from decorative rock to boulders and everything in between, brought right to you. And if you need help spreading it, we can help with that too. Dorado Rock Materials. The right service, the right product, the right price. Do you often worry you left the garage door open? With a LiftMaster garage door opener powered by MyQ, you'll never worry again. You can control, secure, and monitor your garage from your smartphone anytime from anywhere through the MyQ app. As an authorized LiftMaster dealer, we have smart openers designed for your needs, including belt drive motors for ultra-quiet operation, integrated camera for live video streaming, and battery backup that lets you in when the power is out. Kaiser Garage Doors and Gates is your authorized local LiftMaster dealer. Visit KaiserDoor.com for more information. Coach Tommy Lloyd here. When I need a winning strategy for my team, nothing beats knowledge and skill. That's why I recommend Rightway Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing for all your home service needs. Having personally witnessed the impact of hard work and dedication, Rightway brings the same commitment to your home's comfort. Whether it's HVAC, plumbing, or electrical, their team always delivers excellence. With a legacy of quality service since 1959, you know you're in good hands. So give your home the best. Choose Rightway Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Call or text 520-640-CATS or visit rightwayac.com. 
Experiencing the natural wonders comes easy at Rock and K. Nestled at the base of the Rincon Mountain foothills, enjoy stunning mountain views up close every day. Hit the community trails, explore local parks like Saguaro National and Colossal Cave, and mingle at private Diamond Community Park events. In the top-rated Vail School District, Rock and K is close to work, shopping, and services. Tour 11 different model homes by top-tier builders, offering move-in ready homes and special incentives. Live Rock and K. Com. Designed by nature, proud U of A radio broadcast sponsor. Does it feel like the price of everything is going up, up, up? We can't control the price of gas or groceries, but at Royal Buick GMC, we never add market adjustments, even while other dealers add fees because inventory is limited. At Royal Buick GMC, you can rest assured you won't pay market adjustments, and we stand by our transparent online pricing. Royal Buick GMC, the dealership that's different. OAC plus tax, title, license, dealer installed options, and 529 dock fee. Royal Buick GMC, in the Auto Mall and at RoyalTucson.com. Hi, this is Mike Hanley, former president of Bank of Tucson. And I'm thrilled to announce that I have joined the Advisory Business Council of Meridian Wealth Management and Natalie Fernandez Lee, Meridian's partner and advisor, who I am a great fan of. She has worked with many individuals and businesses in the community for decades. We live in crazy times these days and need the right financial advice, which is so important. If you'd like to talk to Natalie, give her a call at 719-1433 and have a great day. Advisory services provided by Meridian Wealth Management, a registered investment advisor. The Meridian Wealth Management Post Game Show continues on the whole home of Arizona men's basketball, Wildcats Radio 1290. For Lucina, Trire gets it inside, into the lane, bump it into Larson, shot up, offensive foul call. And Pella slaps the basket standard knowing that he played outstanding defense. What you don't know about Pella, if you've never seen him before, he is barrel chested and uses that chest defensively on the perimeter and in this case against a 6'10", 230 pound postman who was trying to back him down and Pella's strength held his ground. Third foul on Lucina Triore. Pella Larson, 15 points, went 5 of 11 from the field, hit Three threes, three of five, two of three from the line, 15 points in 27 minutes. He had five assists, three rebounds, and a steal for the senior Pella Larson. Arizona knocks off Long Beach State, 85-65. Second half on your Mesquite Valley Grower scoreboard. Game two of the day in Salt Lake City. Nevada is leading Dayton by a score of 42-29. to Kelvin, the early thoughts uh, by what you're seeing here in terms of how you, both these teams match up uh, with Arizona? Uh, well, uh, Dayton, I think Dayton would have a tough time with us. Uh, they they have they play through their big guy, uh, Deron Holmes, actually from Millennium, Arizona Companies up in Phoenix, but they play through him, and I think it will be tough on him having to go against a you know, big body Balo. Uh, so I think it would be just tough on them. They don't have a lot of scoring, and they're struggling right now with, with Nevada. Nevada, on the other hand, they have the kid Lucas, man, that was from Oregon State. That was a real good shooter. And I believe he was on that team that beat us from Oregon State. And they had a little run in the NCAA tournament. I got to do a little bit more research on that. But he's a kid I know from AAU. Has, has always been aggressive. And I think I know he would take this game versus Arizona personal. And they also have the kid Blackshear at the point. He's a 6'5", 6'6", point guard. Real crafty, uh, and as you notice, I'm talking about the guards, and they have some, <laughs> and they have some size on the inside to uh, to to play with Balo as well. So that'll be an interesting game uh, versus those guys. They're not very deep, but they're starting five. Uh, is, it could be a problem. Yeah, Lucas is a fifth year COVID dude, but he's got 2,000 career points. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he was a leading scorer at Oregon State. I'm pretty sure. Uh, um, again, I have to go back and do my research, but I believe they so beat U of A. 21, uh, was that the year they went uh, to the Elite Eight, I think? Was that, mm-hmm. or was it 20? Yeah. 21, yeah, that was 21. Uh, was that the year? 21, uh, not 21. I think it was, tw- I think it was the, well, it wouldn't have been the COVID year. It might have been 22 was the year. That would have been his true junior year was the year that they uh, they got deep. And uh, we'll have to look into that, though, and, and see for sure. Uh, but It's yeah. okay. They're not part of the same conference as us anymore. You really don't have to. <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. I think it's 21. Uh, let's hear from Caleb Love. Caleb Love, 18 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists today. And uh, Ryan Hansen caught up with Caleb Love at the Delta Center after the game. More well-rounded player. Talk about that evolution for you. Well, my thing is... Uh- a couple minutes with Caleb Love after Arizona dispatches Long Beach State in the first round of the tournament. In the first 
Ernie, walk me through that first half, right? It's basketball, shots maybe not falling, but what was the mindset for Arizona coming out of that first half? Uh, we just wanted to, you know, kind of take control over the game. Uh, you know, we was, we was missing a lot of layups early on in the first half, and then, you know, we was just kind of playing, um, I think, contain a little bit, and I think once we, you know, settled in the game and got used to, you know, let the game, uh, you know, get flowing, I think we were just, you know, like I said, taking control over the game. Best season for you rebounding, best season for you assist to turnover ratio, becoming a more well-rounded player. Talk about that evolution for you. Well, uh, my thing is uh, that's what I've been doing all season. Uh, you know, coach has, you know, challenged me um, day in and day out to, you know, be better um, all around. And, you know, my shot really wasn't falling today. So uh, what can you do uh, when your shot's not falling? And so I feel like I, you know, that was an example of me, you know, staying in the game, um, still, you know, celebrating my teammates and, you know, doing other things without just scoring. How about your backcourt mate, Kylan Boswell? Talk about his production today. Um, you know, he played great. Uh, you know, he's, you know, that's who he is. That's, you know, what we expect out of him. And, um, you know, he was, he got it going early. Um, you know, he was knocking down shots, getting everybody involved. And, you know, that's our point guard. So, you know, we, we go as he goes. Defensively, you guys locked up Long Beach State in the second half. Was there anything different that you did or just do what you do better? Um, I think we just had to do what we do better as far as, you know, um, knowing personnel, knowing tendencies, as far as, um, you know, knowing what guys do um, and I think we kind of doubled down on that uh, limiting them to one shot uh, I think early on it was getting a lot of offensive rebounds and uh, it was I think it was tied up rebounding wise uh, in the first half and, um, I think we you know kind of you know uh, doubled down on that and uh, I think that's what separated us you might not know this but as a team Arizona has never made more threes in a single NCAA tournament game than they did today oh, 13 wow. made threes was a record for you guys how'd you guys find the open spots uh, I think uh, with that zone there's so many open us for threes um they was kind of just kind of leaving us open and we just you know coach always tells us just let it rip and you know if you open and uh you confident in it just you know take the shot and then we'll cover it on a rebound if uh, on the officer rebound if you know you miss it but um i think we all had confidence in making the shots and taking the taking the right shots and uh that's what we did so i assume now it's film rest and get after it saturday yeah for sure film rest um you know take care of our bodies uh recovery and uh you know watch a few games all right great job congratulations thank you all right, that was Caleb Love with Ryan Hansen after the ball game. I mean, again, these uh, one of the things we've always talked about in terms of the NCAA tournament is that these these instances line up for Arizona because it's very similar to what they do in the Pac-12 regular season playing yes. Thursday, Saturday, Kelvin. But in the instance of the NCAA tournament where maybe you're you're, you're a little bit more jacked up than, say, a regular season game. Is that recovery any different uh, in, in the next uh, 48 hours or less than 48 hours? No, I think it's about the same, and I think that's one of the good reasons why the Pac-12, you know, did that for the Thursday, Saturday, to get the guys comfortable with playing at every other day type of schedule. So I think I think it's actually perfect. Uh, um, and so I think they'll be I think they'll be fresh. I mean, especially coming off a win like that and you're feeling good about yourself. And the one thing about tournament time to me, and I actually do wish they would have uh, took the guys out a little earlier. I had, I, I had said that. I had said that. I wish they would have took the guys out a little bit earlier. J Dub, I was saying I, I wish they would have took the guys out just a little bit earlier. Yeah. Just a little bit earlier. But with that being said, this is the time of the year where everybody's playing five, six, seven. You're playing your best guys. So it it it, it really doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, I mean, 33-34. It's not like they had some kind of crazy numbers as far as minutes go. Uh, also, when was the last game they played? Yeah. yeah, been a minute. Well, yeah, a week ago, last Friday. And and you know what? When I why when I looked at the guys that he took out, well, the guys that he left in, I felt like he was trying to let them continue to shoot themselves into a good rhythm. Uh, you know, he kept Boswell in almost down to what the last two minutes. Yeah. Right, so that's what I was thinking in my mind. Keyshawn, he got Caleb out of there. Uh, Larson was out of there. Guys that he know already got confidence, and, and, and he kept the guys in there that I, I felt like that he he felt needed a little more playing time because you think about it, Boz was getting less minutes the last few games, right? Yeah, he, he was down a few. He was down some minutes. This is probably the most minutes he played in a while. Well, yeah, there was well, a game where Bradley was, you know. Well, both KJ and Bradley, right? Because KJ had his well, best. Well, that USC game, yeah. both Love and, and Boswell sat for a large like five part or six of the minutes down the minutes stretch that until about, yeah, yeah, until there's about one minute left in the game. Uh, he stayed on the bench there because that was KJ's, you know, coming out party, if you want to call it that. But yeah, I mean, I, I think the, the minutes across the board aren't too crazy. Uh, you would have liked to have maybe seen KJ and Mo get a little bit more productivity in there off the bench. Uh, but more than anything, the takeaway is. When you see Kylan and Caleb Love, you know, knocking down shots, Kelvin, I mean, we it's 
the last stretch of games, most fans, I think, watching this tournament were concerned mostly about those guys struggling from the outside. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not worried about it just because I think when you talk about mechanics, you talk about form, you talk about, you know, ability to shake off the last miss. I mean, that's Caleb in a nutshell. Kylan's form is real nice. So they just got to keep, keep shooting. But, I mean, the unfortunate thing is here we are at the end of the season and there's – Two bench guys, really. Mo gets in and spot time to kind of get Ballo out of there. But yeah. these last couple, this last month or so, Mo Crevis isn't getting in there for 15, 20 minutes a, a game. No, but the biggest problem, the biggest reason why he's not getting those minutes, though, is is Ballo's play. Well, of course. It's Ballo's play. So it's not just uh, uh, him not being effective at this point in the season, at the end of your senior's uh, career, you want them to finish it out. Who you rather have in the game? It's just there. That's what that is. I believe. I don't think it has anything to do with his play. All right, let's review our keys to the game and what we think that needed to happen on the front side for Arizona to win today. Wildcats fans, how did today's keys to the game go for the Wildcats? Keys to the game are brought to you by the Royal Automotive Group. Royal Automotive, the dealership that is different. All right, I believe it was J-Dub who went first. Number one, uh, you got to limit uh, Abubakar Traore. He's the guy who gets it going. Takes one quarter, guys, of their free throws on the year. One quarter. 200 free throws for him, 800 for the team. Uh, also, twice as many assists as number two on that team. He's a guy who really gets it going for them. Uh, he's going to probably see a lot of drop covers today. Shoots about 9% from three, so he's not a a super big threat from out there, but you got to limit his effectiveness because he's really going to get the other guys going. Number two, just bring that physicality from the tip. I think with Keyshawn, Balo, all these other guys, the on-ball pressure from guys like, you know, Bradley and, and KJ and the starters, obviously, super important to limit them offensively and dominate the boards. Uh, they haven't We haven't seen that the last couple of games. Really impose your will uh, defensively. And just three, play that Arizona brand of basketball. Free flow in. Look for the open man. Do not hesitate to shoot. I don't care if you've been struggling from the outside. You got to let it fly. It's the NCAA tournament. It's time to make a name for yourself. It's time to uh, take this team as far as you possibly can with your brothers beside you. Uh, be one. Be as a team. Play Arizona brand basketball. Share the ball. I'd like to see 18, 20 assists today. Yeah, you got 19 assists, which was good. Uh, the, let it fly. The guards did that for sure. Kayla Love, Pella Larson, and Kylan Boswell can combine to take 47 of Arizona's 72 shots in this game. And Abubakar Traore didn't really get to the line at all in this game. He did take a, a team-high 16 shots for them, uh, but only went two for two from the line. So they kept him off the line in this game. Yeah, no, they did a great job on him. Uh, you, you know, all game, the guys were locked in defensively, and, and and that's what you expect at this time of the year. Yeah, I don't care what the numbers look like outside of, like, 25 30%, like we saw <laughs> last week. Uh, it's really the defense, guys. I mean, this this team and Coach Lloyd is going to be known for his offense as long as he's on campus. As long as he's coaching, that's going to be his style, is getting up in the 90s as much as possible. But this group, we saw it both preseason, we saw it over the summer, and we've seen it a lot. There's been a few outliers, but when they're together and they're connected defensively, I mean, this is one of the top five defensive teams in the country. And and, and I'll say this, this is a game we could have probably lost last year, especially with a start like that. Mm. But with the type of athletes that we have on the defensive side, because that was an athletic Long Beach State team. Yeah. They were athletic. They had some length and some size, but we had – probably superior talent at the end of the day. Well, if you look at the stretch where Arizona, you know, and Long Beach State were more or less neck and neck, right. and then Arizona got out to a bit of a 15-point lead and then into that second half, that was a two-for-20 stretch by the beach. So, I mean, that's – and, you know, I'm not going to credit 100% of those misses to the Arizona defense, but they had a hand in almost all of them. So, you got to give credit. If the shots aren't falling, you can always fall back on the other side of the court. You just got to stay engaged. Right. Kelvin was next. To see them do what we did against Valparaiso when we saw him, and that's punch him in the mouth right away. <laughs> and let him, and, and just let them know right from the beginning there's levels to this. And this, when we're on another level, uh, uh, attack the paint uh, with Balo or with penetration from the guards. I think if you get into that paint, you get easier shots, but it gives you off offensive rebound opportunities as well. And don't allow Long Beach State to play the zone. Uh, I think that uh, you, you, you have to – 
rebound, get in transition. You want some rebound, uh, pen, uh, uh, rebound, oh, wow, wow, rebound putbacks. And then you also want some catch and shoot three opportunities, getting that ball to the inside and passing it back out for opportunities to beat them. 16 for 43 shots around the rim. Uh, that's only 38%. So you would like uh, that to definitely be a lot higher. Uh, you, you're, you're not going to want to miss all those easy buckets in, in games where the competition level is going to be a lot higher. No, you don't. But you know what I love? 43. <laughs> right? That's what you said? 43. That means yeah. they were, going, they in were there, going in there. And that opens up opportunities for rebound, rebounds, and, and it just makes the defense where they have to uh, game plan for trying to stop you from penetrating, which opens up easier shots on the perimeter where they can't overplay you. Uh, so, yeah, no, nah, I think that I'll check. I'll check that one. Okay, there you go. Uh, my my keys. Penetration is, to me, I think the, the dribble penetration is, to me, is going to be the big thing, I think, in this game. Uh, Caleb Love, we talked about the shooting, but maybe the more concerning thing for me is the lack of free throws. I mean, two of the last three games, he has not shot a single free throw. Ooh. So I want to see Caleb Love get back to the foul line. I think if he gets back to the foul line, drives the basketball, I think we'll begin to see him shoot the ball better from the outside as well. So a more aggressive Caleb Love, I think, is going to be one of my top keys uh, for this ball game. I think a more aggressive Caleb Love will lead to more catch-and-shoot opportunities for Kylan Boswell as well in this game. So that, that maybe helps cure uh, the shooting woes that you've had between, with your two main guards. And like you guys said, I think uh, dominate on the inside, uh, get Umar Balo going, and, and, and I think that's going to be the, the mainstay in this game. Get, get those guys into foul trouble, uh, like, uh, like Corey was saying, because they don't really have a deep bench. And if you can get some of those, uh, those bigs like uh, Abubaka Traore and those, and those other guys sitting on the bench, uh, you're, you're gonna have a, you, you might actually be able to win this game by more than 20 points today. So, well, you took out two of their, I mean, you look at Lasina, Lasina Troye. I mean, he only went one for eight in this game. So they took him out offensively. Uh, their leading s scorer, Marcus Sohonis, went just three for 13 in this game. And then Jaden Jones, who we talked about, uh, three for 10. So, I mean, those are your, you're probably their top three offensive players. And they combined to go, what, seven for 31, which is mm. kind of that, around that same number. Uh, we were talking about Caleb Love early in the ball game, seven for thirty-four. Like to see again, Caleb Love got to the, got back to the free throw line uh, five times. Uh, maybe a few more would have been great, but five. I'll take five, considering it had been zero in uh, two of the last three ball games. So, so that was good to see for him get downhill and, and get back to the to the free throw line. And, and then again, I think like we saw the driving, the transition. Uh, we we saw some catch and shoot opportunities for Kylan Boswell in this game, and, and he was able to knock down uh, some of those threes, which was big for this team offensively. All right, that was what we thought needed to happen for Arizona to win. Wildcats fans, that's a look at your keys to the game. They're brought to you by the Royal Automotive Group. Royal Automotive, the dealership that is different. Eighty-five, sixty-five, Arizona knocks off Long Beach State. 520-848-1290 is the number to get in on the program. It is the Meridian Wealth Management postgame show. Don't forget, basketball, the madness has begun, and there's no place to watch it better than Champs Kitchen and Bar. It's the new go-to spot for sports and fun here in Tucson. Come out and see if your bracket gets busted. Duquesne won today. I think I had BYU on my bracket. In that game, I think I had BYU winning a couple games. As I, I think I, 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 I fell in love a little bit with the Big Twelve mm -hmm. <laughs> in my bracket. Yeah, no, I had seen a little bit of Duquesne and LeBron, ex coach, coaches yeah, there. Yeah, Keith Dembrot. Yeah, and he yep. hooked them up with some new shoes. And I said, man, these guys might be a little, you know, a little I mean, motivated. Shout out to LeBron. I mean, he gave what new shoes to Duquesne. He gave new shoes to USC. Mm -hmm. Prior to the Pac-12, I mean, uh, he, he'll take care of, uh, the, you know, some of the teams where he's got connections, mm -hmm. uh, which is good to see. Uh, uh, some more grand opening deals over at Champs, which is at 7625 North LaCholla Boulevard here in Tucson. $5 Madness going on right now through April the 8th. They've got slam dunk deals, $5 pizzas, $5 burgers, $5 pitchers. 
So whether you're a fan of the game or just looking for a good time, grab your friends and try the new MVP of sports bars, the real MVP of sports bars here in Tucson. That's Champ's Kitchen and Bar. It's the Mirty Wealth Management Countdown to Tip-Off Show, 520-848-1290. If you want to talk to us or if you want to text us your thoughts on the game with Kelvin Efon and J.W. Madden, I am David Kelly. You are listening to Wildcats Radio 1290. This hour of the Meridian Wealth Management Postgame Show is brought to you by Humane Society of Southern Arizona, Lexus of Tucson, Nova Home Loans, Recon Auto Detail, Right Now Power Sports Tucson, Tucson Police Department, Broadway in Tucson, Dave and Buster's Tucson, Dorado Rock, First Choice Pools, The Good Feet Store, Jack Furrier Tire and Auto Care, O'Reilly Chevrolet, Ram Plumbing, Restaurant Supply Store, Rightway Heating, Cooling and Plumbing, Rocking KA Master Plan Community Design by Nature, University Termite and Pest Control. Do you often worry you left the garage door open? With a LiftMaster garage door opener powered by MyQ, you'll never worry again. You can control, secure, and monitor your garage from your smartphone anytime from anywhere through the MyQ app. As an authorized LiftMaster dealer, we have smart openers designed for your needs, including belt drive motors for ultra-quiet operation, integrated camera for live video streaming, and battery backup that lets you in when the power is out. Kaiser Garage Doors and Gates is your authorized local LiftMaster dealer. Visit KaiserDoor.com for more information. Does it feel like the price of everything is going up, up, up? We can't control the price of gas or groceries, but at Royal Buick GMC, we never add market adjustments, even while other dealers add fees because inventory is limited. At Royal Buick GMC, you can rest assured you won't pay market adjustments, and we stand by our transparent online pricing. Royal Buick GMC, the dealership that's different. OAC plus tax, title, license, dealer installed options, and 529 dock fee. Royal Buick GMC, in the Auto Mall and at RoyalTucson.com. As Arizona's leading personal injury law firm for more than 30 years, Goldberg and Osborne agrees. Bear down, Arizona, with offices statewide, including five in Tucson and Southern Arizona. The Eagle gives you home court advantage. More than 1,800 five-star Google reviews prove Goldberg and Osborne makes the right play in any situation. So, after any accident, let the attorneys voted best personal injury law firm get you the settlement you deserve. It's a slam dunk. Goldberg and Osborne, 1-800-THE-EAGLE. Don't hold back. Just dive right in. This is Desert Diamond. The round, the clock, off the charts, over the top spectacle that puts a shine on any day, any time. The tables are hot to the touch. The slots are spinning winners every day. And the point spreads are yours for the taking. So go ahead. Live the diamond life. Desert Diamond Casino. Visit ddcaz.com. An enterprise of the Donna Autumn Nation. Get the backyard you've always wanted with a custom pool from First Choice Pools, a backyard oasis built around you. First Choice is a full-service builder of beautiful in-ground pools and backyard designs for years of staycations. If you're ready to dive in, then visit TucsonPoolBuilder.com. Schedule now and get three months of full-service free. First Choice Pools for installs, renovation, remodeling, and repair. Get started today at TucsonPoolBuilders.com. First Choice Pools, the first and only choice. My heat and air work in a state of disrepair. Spring is here and so are the allergies. I'm Janae Arenas and if you're a mom like me, you're concerned about how clean the air is that your family is breathing. That's why we offer duct cleaning, aeroseal duct sealing, and air purification. Call us at Picture Rocks Cooling at 520-440-4069. Your family deserves to breathe clean, healthy air. Picture Rocks Cooling. Here's an important message from University Termite and Pest Control. The weather is cooler here, and so pests are seeking alternative housing. Do you need a professional? University Termite and Pest Control has been serving Tucson since 1974. You can be assured University Termite and Pest Control will keep you pest-free using the most responsible products and application methods. 28 school districts, three hospitals, two colleges, one university, and thousands of homeowners trust University Termite and Pest Control for the past 50 years. You can too. University Termite and Pest Control. Find us online at bepestfree.com. The game of football is about pain. Ever since I was five years old, it's been all about football. It's been about running, jumping, blocking, tackling. I stopped playing at 31. You're listening to Michael Robinson, retired pro fullback. 
I thought that foot pain was gonna be with me for the rest of my life. I'm so glad I met Good Feet. I'm so glad those are supports are in my shoes. Go to the Good Feet store at 4811 East Grant Road or at goodfeet.com. Striving to be the best never grows old. And that's especially true right now during O'Reilly Chevrolet's 100th anniversary celebration. Great customer service is what we've hung our cowboy hat on for more than a century. Even today, we have a new inventory arriving with factory incentives available, and there are great deals to be had. Check them out at O'Reilly.com, call 747-8000, or come to our party on the 23rd to Broadway next to Park Place Mall. Southern Arizona and O'Reilly Chevrolet. Together, let's drive. O'Reilly Chevrolet. Tired of dry, itchy skin? Have mineral buildup at every faucet. Ram Plumbing's affordable, green, eco-friendly water softener and alkalized purification systems are built right here in our great state of Arizona and use a fraction of the wastewater as their competitors. Want soft water, non-chlorinated, or the best alkalized drinking water? You can trust Ram Plumbing to be your one-stop shop. Ask about their Water Taste Challenge. 40th year anniversary savings, up to $500 off water systems and $40 off any service. If your plumbing's in trouble, call Ram on the double. Most financial advisors I know have had a moment in their career where they thought, with more control, I would do things differently for my client's sake. This is Natalie Fernandez with Meridian Wealth Management, and our firm was created by advisors with the understanding that we need flexibility, control, and decision-making power to create the best experience for our clients. If you're an advisor interested in learning more about our growing firm, call me at 719-1433 to talk more today. Advisory services provided by Meridian Wealth Management, a registered investment advisor. The Meridian Wealth Management Post Game Show continues on the home of Arizona men's basketball. Wildcats Radio 1290. Steve Bradley will bring it across. Stroud extending his defense. Pass ahead. It goes to Larson. Off to Boswell. Angle right. Boswell step back three. And it is good. Kylan Boswell feeling it today. Alexis of Tucson Charity three. He gets now to 16 points. 85-65, the final for the Arizona Wildcats over Long Beach State. 520-848-1290. 520-848-1290 is the number to get in on the program. Let's head back to the phones and talk to Danny. Danny, you were on the Meridian Wealth Management postgame show, Wildcats Radio 1290. Hey, guys. Good afternoon. Danny, how are you? I'm very good. However, I, this is the first time I haven't seen a game in... I don't know, 20 years. Oh, well, you know, why don't you see the game? It's a you situation, working? and I, I'm, I'm in the middle of no, I'm, I'm almost at the half. So, but I'm looking at the box score, and I, I've only heard pieces of you guys, but I've heard, you know, a good hour total. Is this a hiccup game? Hiccup? Explain, yeah, why, hiccup explain what you mean like, by hiccup. Well, when you look at their players, and you look at our players, and you look at the numbers, did we really, I mean, what, what, did we get comfortable in the second half? or? Well, yeah. you. Were I up, mean, how you're, do you get up, beat in so many categories well, in this game? Well, you're up 20 points, right. so I guess they got comfortable, yeah. Keep watching. Okay. And Keep again, watching, again, Andy. again, I'm asking because that's why I've been listening as I can to you guys because, like I said, I, I can't remember the last time I didn't see a game, like literally. So I can remember no, the last I time I didn't see a game. You guys, it was – What's that? The last game I didn't watch live was that Illinois comeback. Because I told that story. I was at a wedding, yeah. so I couldn't sit and watch the game, so I had to tape it. But, yeah, I'm not, I am not. I have a hard time doing that tape delay thing. It's tough. What you been up to that you couldn't watch yeah. the game, Danny? Oh, I had a friend with a, his wife and a car situation, and he works, and I had my business. So I'm, I leave the house and without a phone, and I'm getting pieces of it on the radio. So, so you were – You know what? Honestly, the last time I missed the game – was I was with uh, a girlfriend in Montana. They lived in the middle back to the airport. Uh, and listening to the Alaska shootout. Mm, and we yeah. lost we lost contact. So we're talking about four, five, something like that. But I just I just So Danny right? Danny Danny this is what, that's Danny, what we live for. Danny, well, so what the, you said you were, there were stats that concerned you. What stats concerned you? And we can kind of maybe walk you through what happened with those. Yeah, that'd be great. I appreciate that, guys. So rebounds is the first thing I noticed. They took, uh, yeah, they missed a lot of shots. 
So they had a lot of opportunities for rebounds. Yeah, I mean, again, I haven't even got to halftime. I'm, I'm like two minutes and 13 seconds. But I look at I look at that and I'm going, okay. And then look at their players. I mean, look, these guys are a fifth seed, right? Uh, okay. We, we got it when blocks. Danny, unfortunately, you are going in and out. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to either put you back on hold or you're going to need to call us back when you get to a better cell. Because He's going to keep watching you tomorrow or Saturday. All right. Thank be you, guys. Thank you, guys. That'll be good. Danny, you're going yeah. to be a lot happier in another four game minutes of game time. Let's put it that way. Okay, well, I have set to go. And he's gone. Let's go. Thanks, guys. Thank Fair you much. Have a good day. All right, Danny. Appreciate you uh, checking in. 520-848-1290. Uh, that opens up a line uh, for you out there. Wildcats win it 85-65. to 65. Uh, we'll, We probably won't find out until after all the games are complete tonight what time we play on Saturday. Let's give you right now a quick look at your scoreboard and the games that are final on the day. Oregon knocked off South Carolina 87 to 73. They are the number 11 seed. So the Ducks advance. Jermaine Kuznar, Kelvin, 40 points. What? 40 points, six assists. NCAA? Yeah. Ooh, somebody trying to get a check. Somebody trying to. Yeah, he, now, he's another one that's going to make a lot of money somewhere because he can put the ball in the basket. That's 40 in the NCAA game. Yeah. Amazing. 40 points. North Carolina beat Wagner 90 to 62. And uh, in that ball game, it was uh, Armando Baycott with 20 points and 15 rebounds. Let's give you some more scores. The Pac 12 scoreboard is brought to you by Mesquite Valley Growers. Mesquite Valley Growers. Real growers, real experience, real nursery. Akron lost to Creighton, 77-60. No upset there. It was Ryan Kalkbrenner with 23 points, 8 rebounds, 3 blocks for the Creighton Bulldogs. Illinois wins 85-69 over Moorhead State. Terrence Shannon Jr. scored 26 points. We mentioned Duquesne upset BYU. 11, or That's an 11-6 upset. 71-67. So BYU is out. Michigan State beats Mississippi State. I believe I had Mississippi State in my bracket on that one. 69-51. So Tom Izzo and his crew, uh, who Arizona beat earlier this year, are moving on uh, to the second round. Those are the games that are final on the board right now. There are only There's only one game in progress at the moment, and that's the game that is of most concern to us. And Nevada continues to lead Dayton 56-47 to with about five minutes to go. In the second half, winner of that game will play Arizona on Saturday. And I'm doing my live scouting. That's why you see my name <laughs> keep turning like this because I'm doing some live scouting. I, I want to be up to date. There I don't want to wait and watch the playback. <laughs> uh, Kelvin, any final thoughts before we let you uh, fly out of here? Man, I'm excited for this next game. Uh, the guys took care of business today. It's not going to all be pretty. Uh, yeah, you're not going to knock down shots as you want to. The other team has some say-so in that as well with with, they, with their defense and them trying to play with their heart. But I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued by the way the guys look today and excited to see them play against a Nevada team that they should be able to beat. All right. Uh, we will uh, let you go, Kelvin. We'll talk to you on Saturday. All right, guys. Bear down. Bear down indeed. 85-65 the final. We'll get a, a timeout in here. We'll come back. We'll take more of your calls, and we will hear uh, from Tommy Lloyd and the players in Salt Lake City. 85-65 the final. Wildcats win. It's the Meridian Wealth Management Post Game Show on Wildcats Radio 1290. This is the Meridian Wealth Management Post Game Show on the home of Arizona men's basketball. Wildcats Radio 1290. This just in, Goodfellas AC is batching up to $2,000 on federal tax credit. Whoa, seriously? <gasps> this is unbelievable. I gotta call Floyd at Goodfellas. 
Hello, good fellas. Floyd speaking. Is it true about the $2,000? It sure is. Homeowners like you may qualify for a 30% federal tax credit up to $2,000 on qualifying heat pumps. And good fellas will match the tax credit dollar for dollar up to $2,000. Good service, good prices, good fellas. If you're a dude yourself or looking for quality car parts in Tucson, look no further. Advance Auto Parts has six Tucson locations with over 75 years in business. Advance Auto Parts is the largest car parts retailer in the U.S. and customers know they can trust their products like diehard batteries now with free installation only found at advanced auto parts stores take advantage of our same day delivery and pickup just visit our website at stores.advanceautoparts.com and make sure to follow us on instagram and facebook advanced auto parts for all your car repair needs now a proud radio sponsor of the university of arizona wildcats Frog and Firkin, a standout among the bars and restaurants in the University area. Frog and Firkin does what very few pubs can, combine a festive atmosphere and great beer with a menu that could stand on its own in any restaurant setting. A sports enthusiast dream with over 30 TVs, 30 beers on tap, and over 100 import and domestic bottles. Daily drink and food specials, and the kitchen is serving until 10. A standout in the University area. Frog and Firkin. Eat local, support local. Frogandfirkin.com. Does it feel like the price of everything is going up, up, up? We can't control the price of gas or groceries, but at Royal Buick GMC, we never add market adjustments, even while other dealers add fees because inventory is limited. At Royal Buick GMC, you can rest assured you won't pay market adjustments, and we stand by our transparent online pricing. Royal Buick GMC, the dealership that's different. OAC plus tax, title, license, dealer installed options, and 529 dock fee. Royal Buick GMC, in the Auto Mall and at RoyalTucson.com. Coach Tommy Lloyd here. When I need a winning strategy for my team, nothing beats knowledge and skill. That's why I recommend Rightway Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing for all your home service needs. Having personally witnessed the impact of hard work and dedication, Rightway brings the same commitment to your home's comfort. Whether it's HVAC, plumbing, or electrical, their team always delivers excellence. With a legacy of quality service since 1959, you know you're in good hands. So give your home the best. Choose Rightway Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Call or text 520-640-CATS or visit rightwayac.com. Old Pueblo Harley-Davidson is the pre-owned inventory destination. With hundreds of pre-owned Harley-Davidson motorcycles to choose from, save two or even $6,000 at Old Pueblo Harley's pre-owned clearance sale. Now through the end of the month, Old Pueblo is accepting 100% of all credit applications with low financing options available. Take a test ride and receive a free dealer tee only at Old Pueblo Harley-Davidson or online at oldpuebloharley.com. Some restrictions may apply. See dealer for details. Think of waking up with energy, standing tall and feeling free. Think first, chiropractic, good health is to enjoy. First Chiropractic offers military discounts to retired and disabled veterans, and they now accept patients with access insurance. For more information and to find the location nearest you, visit firstchiro.com, the most trusted name in chiropractic care. First Chiropractic, good health is to enjoy. Make the right choice for your home when it comes to windows and doors. For more than 20 years, the Window Depot has provided the best price and biggest inventory on in-stock windows and doors. The Window Depot is open to the public, so whether you're a homeowner or a contractor, you can shop the enormous warehouse. Browse the shelves with over 1,000 vinyl windows, interior and patio doors, and skylights in several varieties and sizes available to go home today. Shop thewindowdepot.com or find a location near you. The Window Depot, best price, biggest inventory. Experiencing the natural wonders comes easy at Rock and K. Nestled at the base of the Rincon Mountain foothills, enjoy stunning mountain views up close every day. Explore natural open space, a network of connecting trails, and a community park within the Vail School District. Visit Lennar's two communities in Rock and K with home savings up to $35,000 and limited time interest rate and closing cost incentives on select move-in ready homes. Live rockandk.com. Designed by nature, proud U of A radio broadcast sponsor. Day in and Day out, we're inundated with commercials asking to review your portfolio or telling you to get a second opinion. This is Natalie Fernandez with Meridian Wealth Management, and I want to share the advice I give people every day. Talk to three different advisors at three different firms. It's important to understand their differences and find someone you can trust. I want Meridian to be one of your three, and then you will decide who is best for you. To learn more, call us at 719-1433 today. Advisory services provided by Meridian Wealth Management, a registered investment advisor. 
advisor. As Arizona's leading personal injury law firm for more than 30 years, Goldberg and Osborne agrees. Bear down, Arizona, with offices statewide, including five in Tucson and Southern Arizona. The Eagle gives you home court advantage. More than 1,800 five-star Google reviews prove Goldberg and Osborne makes the right play in any situation. So, after any accident, let the attorneys voted best personal injury law firm get you the settlement you deserve. It's a slam dunk. Goldberg and Osborne, 1-800-THE-EAGLE. The Meridian Wealth Management Post Game Show continues on the home of Arizona men's basketball. Wildcats Radio 1290. Get a half court play, set to go. 19 on the shot clock, Boswell drives right all the way to the bucket, just lay it up and in. And Kylan Boswell, now with a new career high, 20 points in the game. And the Cats are up 84-64. 8 of 19 from the floor, 20 points for Kylan Boswell. Arizona beats Long Beach State 85 to 65. 520 848 1290 is the number to get in on the show. Let's talk to Paul in Phoenix on the Meridian Wealth Management postgame show, Wildcats Radio 1290. Gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? We're good. We are good. Good. Real good. Hey, so, uh, true confession after the game, I, I'll be honest, I was a little stressed early on. Uh, but my my body in the afternoon for some reason says power nap power nap so I miss I miss part of your early part of your show, <laughs> but but I'm with you now. But real quick, okay. So to me there was a there was a, a, a there was a concern obviously in the first half. It didn't seem like we didn't have anybody to go to who would help us rebounding wise. Now I know you know Omar got you know, Omar got his and and I, I think Caleb was our other leading rebounder. Correct? Yes. Okay, but who else? Who else was? Was there anybody else even close? Or no, five or well, above? Or Keyshot like had K- K- or, uh, Umar had thirteen, uh, Caleb eleven, and Keyshot had five. Everybody else was under that. But yeah, so so we're again in a, in a sit, and I'm not trying to plan for the future, but in a situation where Umar's not getting, you know, maybe he's got a foul issue. Where is there anybody on the bench besides Mo where we could get any rebounding? And I know. JW, you just mentioned this. We're not going very deep in the bench right now, but is there anybody we could look to in a pinch? And we're like, hey, we're stuck. Who do, who would who is that next guy that we may need to use possibly? Who would it be, rebounding wise? Well, <clears throat> the thing is, is that uh, what teams are going to do now is make sure they do everything they can to keep Arizona from scoring 115 points on them. And the only way to do that right. is to keep them from running. And so they're going to throw. Uh, bodies at the rebounds as much as possible. That's going to always be the strategy. As far as bench play for rebounds, it's there's nobody to put. KJ Lewis is a very good rebounder for his size. Jaden Bradley's a very good rebounder for his size. But if you're talking about any kind okay. of bigs you're bringing in. The the issue here is the guys that are in the rotation now are the guys who can be trusted at all facets of the game. Guys who are capable of finding it. the open man, knocking down the open shot, getting to the hole, getting fouled, all those things. It's not just a matter of bringing a quote rebounder off the bench. Whoever's in the rotation now, that's who's in the rotation. So whatever okay. Coach Lloyd and, has seen they, behind the scenes and the guys he's got that he's playing out there, I think obviously Pell is a very good rebounder for his size as well. Keyshawn's a plus rebounder. Uh, Caleb is as well. What I see is seven, seven guys had three or more. So you may not have those yeah. outrageous numbers, but you know, as far as the team rebounding is concerned, I think they did a pretty good job. And, and also – the best way to look at it is 35 outside shots from the Cats, 35 for the Cats from three. Uh, the beach shot 17. That's a lot of long rebounds. Much harder to predict where those right. boards are going to go when there's, let's see, 52 total three-pointers taken in the game. And I guess, and J-Dub, the reason I'm asking that is because I really, I, I, I don't know how, how you know, Coach can impress upon Jaden and, and K.J. Lewis and say, guys, can you guys please? You you guys got to you got to get some boards for us. You got to get us a few. You know, if, if those guys can get us four to six each, boy, that would, what a bonus that would be. You know, as far as you know, making sure. Again, the the rest of the games are are just going to be brutal anyway. But I, I will I will say this. Um, just in in a closing thing, I I'll be honest. I got a little teary eyed thinking about Coach when he was hugging uh, Dan Munson. Dan Munson. Uh, that that would it was a nice moment. It was a nice moment, and you know, Coach always says good things about about uh, his former you know former comrades in battle and all that stuff. And boy, I, I would I'd love to have Dan Munson you know uh, as an assistant here at the U of A or something. Just what a, a good guy. I mean, he obviously he's it seems like he's done everything right, and 
Um, it, it was just a, it was for me. It was good. I, I hope that uh, maybe who knows? You never know what will happen down the road. But you know what, guys? We we've um, we survived it. We mean me. Yeah, <laughs> I, sur- I survived this doggone game. Because I'm telling you right now, guys. I I really I, I joked with myself last night. Like, You're not going to sleep tonight. I was joking, but I, I I slept good. But at the same time, that was the first thing I did when I woke up this morning. I was like, okay, we, this is time. We we got to get over this hump here. And that's the for me, winning this first game is always the one that's just the killer because I've been through it too long since 19 gosh forever. You know, J Dub. So we're one down, and we just keep going. That's all we can do. This you know, I, I I like the way they played. I wish they wouldn't have relied so much on the three-pointer, but now, you know, okay, we got some target practice at, at that gym. Now it's time to um, do that. Now, just last question, do you guys know the two time slots when those games would take place on Saturday? They should have those slotted, but uh, we don't know what's going on. I have not playing, seen right? anything of that nature. No, it's, yeah, it's just still TBD. Uh, but I would think it were, wow. I, would, I would think we might be looking at around a 1230 kind of situation, but uh, that's just me speculating. Okay. An afternoon type of thing. Okay, right, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to an evening, it'll be an afternoon. Okay, I would think gotcha, it. Yeah, I would gotcha. think it'd be maybe a little bit later than what we had today. Well, I mean, the window okay, well, dwindled down from sixty-four to thirty-two is what we're talking about. So yeah. the reason that there's so many there's an eleven a.m. tip this morning is only because they had to play sixteen games today. Yeah. Right, sixteen games tomorrow. Yeah. So once you get down to yeah. eight games on Saturday, eight games on Sunday, you a little more uh, leeway. I do have some very good news for you, Paul. You ready? Yes, sir. There are yes, sir. 351 Division One men's college basketball teams, and Arizona, as of 1 a.m. this morning, March 21st, ranks third in the country in rebounding differential. Mm. They out-rebound <laughs> opponents on average by 10 <laughs> rebounds per game. There's only two teams in the country that rebound, out-rebound their opponents better. That's Purdue and St. Mary's. So they're overall oh, wow. doing – I don't think okay. that rebounding is the biggest issue. I just think you're looking at a whole bunch of misses today for both teams, and that's why you saw yeah. – the the out rebounding by the beach there. Well, lots of lots of layups. I think I think Ryan Hansen said it. You know, in you know, the post game, is it, what, what, I don't know what it was, but it was, we missed a lot of. I just didn't say layups. A lot of yes. close in shots. Yes. 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 So okay, guys. Well, we I, I, I tell my family breathe, <laughs> survive, oh, survive. Yeah, breathe. survive and advance. That's that's the way I'm looking at it. Surviving the dance. Yeah. Bear down, guys. Thanks a lot. All right, Paul. Thank you. Appreciate it. It was shoot in advance uh, tonight as your guards uh, combined for uh, 10 three-point shots and uh, took the majority of the overall shots in this game in combining to score 53 points. All right, final timeout coming up. We'll come back. We'll hear quickly from Adia Barnes and the players before we wrap this up. Uh, it is an 85-65 to 65 win for the Arizona Wildcats. It's the Mridi Wealth Management postgame show on Wildcats Radio 1290. This hour of the Meridian Wealth Management postgame show is brought to you by Humane Society of Southern Arizona, Lexus of Tucson, Nova Home Loans, Recon Auto Detail, Right Now Power Sports Tucson, Tucson Police Department, Broadway in Tucson, Dave and Buster's Tucson, Dorado Rock, First Choice Pools, The Good Feet Store, Jack Furrier Tire and Auto Care, O'Reilly Chevrolet, Ram Plumbing, Restaurant Supply Store, Rightway Heating, Cooling and Plumbing, Rocking KA Master Plan Community Design by Nature, University Termite and Pest Control. Harvey Davidson wants your bike. Call us or visit our website to schedule an appointment or stop by today to receive an inspection and an offer. Whether you're looking to trade in and trade up or just looking for some extra money, we're prepared to make you a tempting offer. Don't deal with the hassle of selling it to a stranger. We're here to make the process quick and easy. Only at Pueblo Harley Davidson or online at PuebloHarley.com. Again, stop at Old Pueblo Harley Davidson or online at OldPuebloHarley.com. Some restrictions may apply. See dealer for details. Tired of dry, itchy skin? Have mineral buildup at every faucet. Ram Plumbing's affordable, green, eco-friendly water softener and alkalized purification systems are built right here in our great state of Arizona and use a fraction of the wastewater as their competitors. Want soft water, non-chlorinated, or the best alkalized drinking water? You can trust Ram Plumbing to be your one-stop shop. Ask about their Water Taste Challenge. 40th year anniversary savings, up to $500 off water systems and $40 off any service. If your plumbing's in trouble, call Ram on the double. The Window Depot has everything you need to create the kitchen or bathroom of your dreams. 
Browse the aisles of in-stock cabinets available in a variety of sizes and configurations and instantly elevate your space today. Visit a showroom and let our experts guide you. Whether you're choosing from ready-to-go designs or creating a custom masterpiece, we can help you select the perfect wood type, color, and style. And top it off with unique hardware to complete your look. Find a location near you at thewindowdepot.com. The Window Depot, more than a window store. Don't hold back. Just dive right in. This is Desert Diamond. The round, the clock, off the charts, over the top spectacle that puts a shine on any day, any time. The tables are hot to the touch. The slots are spinning winners every day. And the point spreads are yours for the taking. So go ahead, live the diamond life. Desert Diamond Casino. Visit ddcaz.com. An enterprise of the Thana Autumn Nation. Coach Tommy Lloyd here. When I need a winning strategy for my team, nothing beats knowledge and skill. That's why I recommend Rightway Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing for all your home service needs. Having personally witnessed the impact of hard work and dedication, Rightway brings the same commitment to your home's comfort. Whether it's HVAC, plumbing, or electrical, their team always delivers excellence. With a legacy of quality service since 1959, you know you're in good hands. So give your home the best. Choose Rightway Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Call or text 520-640-CATS or visit rightwayac.com. Experiencing the Sonoran Desert's natural wonders comes easy at Rock and K. Nestled at the base of the Rincon Mountain foothills, enjoy stunning mountain views up close every day. Six model homes are now open to tour at Del Webb at Rock and K. Here, life is about more than just beautiful homes. It's about the experiences waiting outside your front door at this new 55 plus active adult neighborhood. LiveRockandK.com. Designed by nature, built for you. Proud U of A radio broadcast sponsor. Do you often worry you left the garage door open? With a LiftMaster garage door opener powered by MyQ, you'll never worry again. You can control, secure, and monitor your garage from your smartphone anytime from anywhere through the MyQ app. As an authorized LiftMaster dealer, we have smart openers designed for your needs, including belt drive motors for ultra-quiet operation, integrated camera for live video streaming, and battery backup that lets you in when the power is out. Kaiser Garage Doors and Gates is your authorized local LiftMaster dealer. Visit KaiserDoor.com for more information. Here's an important message from University Termite and Pest Control. The weather is cooler here, and so pests are seeking alternative housing. Do you need a professional? University Termite and Pest Control has been serving Tucson since 1974. You can be assured University Termite and Pest Control will keep you pest-free using the most responsible products and application methods. 28 school districts, three hospitals, two colleges, one university, and thousands of homeowners trust University Termite and Pest Control for the past 50 years. You can too. University Termite and Pest Control. Find us online at bepestfree.com. This is the Meridian Wealth Management postgame show on the home of Arizona men's basketball. Wildcats Radio 1290. Trier on missed the shot, no good. Rebound out to Love for the Wildcats. There's Caleb in a hurry, quickly down to Larson. Stop and pop a three in transition. He's got it. Pella Larson drains a three, another timeout for Long Beach State. And Dan Munson furious again. The Arizona Wildcats are going to play the Dayton Flyers in the second round. Dayton trailed by as many as 14 points in the second half, but a flurry of a comeback, and they win it 63-60 to over the University of Nevada. How about that? It looks like Nate Santos had a couple of free throws early. He also hit a layup late, and the... Flyers are on to take on. They are the seven seed, so they hold, and they'll face the Wildcats, the number two seed, on Saturday. All right, coming up in moments, it's going to be Arizona women's basketball in the first four, the number 11 seed game between the Wildcats and the Auburn Tigers. Uh, earlier this week, Adia Barnes addressed the media. Happy to be in, but not necessarily happy with the play-in or lack of a status of calling it a play-in for her Arizona Wildcats. There is no play-in. There's 68 teams. We could have been some other teams and don't get called. This is what, like, I think is always contradictory because everybody always says you want, you have to have this hard strength of schedule, right? Okay, I did the schedule before we had, you know, transfers and stuff. So schedule, I, I really scheduled too hard for what we had. I, and I, I did that. Um, but I couldn't control some of those things. So we played really good teams. So number one, going into the Pac-12 strength of schedule, it changed when obviously UCLA, USC played. It shifted UCLA to number one, us to number two strength of schedule. So 
when I look at all of our comparables, all the teams that were like those last 11, 12, our numbers were significantly better. So like not even a comparison. So that just tells me that like I can schedule way easier because they were playing from 150 to 230 um, net rating teams, right? Like I would, I, sh- I could have scheduled way easier and we won four more games. This even wouldn't be a question. We'd probably be a nine seed. That's kind of hard because now I'm just going to schedule way easier. I, I think when I looked at us in Texas A&M, there was no comparison. So I don't know how they were seated higher. Cause like, to me, the numbers don't match. So, which is fine. I'm happy we're in, but like that doesn't, we've had bigger wins. We've had more quad one wins. We have a tough, tougher strength to schedule in a better conference. So when I look at us compared to some of those teams, I, I don't, I, I don't agree with that, but I'm not on the committee. <laughs> Now she won't be able to schedule much easier because again you're going from uh to from a ultra great conference maybe to not as difficult a conference so you'll still have to schedule a little bit harder maybe you beginning say next that, year with the Big Twelve. But you say that, but they're kind of going backwards with the concept. Like the concept has always been schedule strong yeah. out of conference because why? Because that's what the freaking fans want to see. <laughs> they want to see great matchups non conference. Yeah. So all of, so all of a sudden, if you hear about this stuff about the Big Twelve men's side of things, how they had the weakest Power Five non conference schedule. And they racked up 20-plus point victory margins. And the committee was like, that's great. You're beating guys by 20, 30 points. If that turns into scheduling cupcakes non-conference to beat them by 30 and impress the committee, and that's what they're looking for, we suffer. We want to see good matchups. We want to see Arizona go to Duke. We want to see those games in the in the in the non-conference. So same with the women's side. If, if D is completely right, if they schedule tough non-conference and aren't rewarded for that, and you're rewarding teams that schedule cupcakes and blow them out, we're going backwards. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to the Delta Center. Give you a few minutes of uh, Tommy Lloyd and uh, Kylan Boswell and Umar Balo after the game. 85-65 Wildcats beat up on Long Beach State. Great job by our guys. I'm super proud of them. You know we've. You know, we're in this game as a program last year, and, and, and we don't assume or take anything for granted. So I, I was really proud of how we responded because, you know, I, I know sitting in your guys' seat, you know, you, you, you guys like the drama and you like all that stuff that comes with this tournament. But, you know, there's another side of it, and, and it's the players and the coaches who have to actually live it and feel it. And, uh, you know, we, we, you know, a lot of us are pretty tunnel vision and don't have, you know, besides our families, a lot else in our life. So, so we feel the emotions and um, for our guys to overcome that today and, and, you know, we got off to a decent start and they made a big run at us and then we kind of settled in and took control from there. So really proud. Okay, we'll open up the questions for the student athletes, please. <clears throat> Yeah, Tommy, Steve Rivera, all sports, Tucson.com. Uh, the, can you talk about the importance of the three-pointers? I think it was a school record for the NCAA tournament, one. And two, how important it was to get them out of the zone? Um, you know, it, hey, I, I knew they were going to play zone a lot. And, you know, that that's, seems to be a little bit of a trend playing against us lately. And I, I think our guys are settling in and getting better against it. And, you know, the funny thing about zones is they're all a little different. And, you know, so you have to kind of figure out where the little pockets and openings are. And, and when you when you look analytically, look at them, I mean, their opponents shoot a high percentage of, of their sh- total shots or three-point attempts. So I, I knew they were going to pack it in and we were going to have to shoot some threes. And we really focus on always, you know, jamming the ball inside and pounding it in there and, you know, and, and getting to the paint. But I knew we were going to have to take a lot of threes. So I think 35 three-point attempts is a lot for us, but that's what the game called for today. And, and uh, you know, our guys did a great job of knocking them down, including this guy right next to me here. Okay, we are taking questions for student-athletes first, please. So right down here. Um, Alex Timo, KSL.com. Uh, uh, Kylan, what was the message in the locker room? Um, because Palm Beach State made it a game early on, and it was a big, it was a dog fight for most of the first half. What was the message from Coach Lloyd in the locker room that really got you guys settled in in the second half? Um, the main thing we've been talking about lately is taking one task at a time. Uh, you know, coming out in the second half, in that first four minutes with our first group has been the main focus and making sure we you know, make sure if our lead is still there. Uh, maintain that or, you know, try to put a push. Um, but, you know, all of us did a great job coming out of the second half and staying strong. No, no, Do no one got one. Jim, you don't have one for Big O up here? Come on now. You got to – how about this guy? Big O has been kicking ass, and I'm super proud of him, the way he's been playing. <laughs> uh, for either Kyle or Umar, uh, Nick King from Channel 3, Channel 5 in Phoenix. 
It looked like you guys were really starting to have some fun in the second half, especially as you start on that 17-2 run in the first four minutes, basically. Um, were you able to feel a little bit, um, I guess it's easy if you as you start to turn up that lead, but were you having fun in the second half there? Yeah, we were, because like, you know, in the second half, we were playing really good defense, and I felt like our defense always dictated our offense. We get stopped, then we run fast breaks, and, and if you get stopped like that and then score, you got to celebrate. That's, that's, that's how, like, we be having fun every game. All right, those were the players. Tommy Lloyd after the ball game. Arizona knocks off Long Beach State 85-65. to It'll be Arizona and Dayton coming up on Saturday at a time to be determined. Hopefully we'll get that tonight and we'll be able to get that to you. So stay with us on our social media platforms at Wildcats 1290, Twitter at Wildcats Radio 1290 on Facebook. All right, head on over right now to Freedom 1400 KTUC, Arizona women's basketball about to get started over there. It'll be Arizona and Auburn. A tip-off is just minutes away. Uh, programming, uh, they, they're already underway there with Derek Palmer as far as the broadcast freedom 1400 ktuc will have all of the results and reaction to that as well coming up for you dk on the sports tip on friday at three o'clock cue the music j well before that cats are two and one all time versus dayton with the last two appearances both being in hawaii wow 2000 2001 and in 1991 both wins in hawaii yeah so dayton Roars Dayton. back to beat Nevada, 63-60. to 60. Round four. Round four. There you go. Round four. Looking forward to that on Saturday again at a time to be determined. Darren Holmes from, the, from Gilbert Mesquite High School scored 18 points for the Flyers today. Thanks to everybody that's involved with these broadcasts. Thanks to uh, Dusty Dale on the FM side, JW here on the AM along with Kelvin Ifon. That is our time for tonight. Once again, your final score, the Arizona Wildcats 85, the Long Beach State, the Beach 65. I'm David Kelly. Bear down, Arizona. We're the Cats, we play out west. And we're working hard to be our best. Ask anyone and you will find. We don't do drugs and wreck your mind. This, this, this is the Meridian Wealth Management Countdown and Tip-Off Show on the home of Arizona men's basketball, Wildcats Radio 1290. KCUB Tucson, a cumulus media station. We have the Arizona Wildcats covered on game day like no one else. We are Wildcats Radio 1290. It is. The JR Sport Brief Show here on CBS Sports Radio. I am coming to you live from Atlanta, Georgia. Super producer and host Ryan Hickey. He's holding it down for us on the boards.